BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. Let's go get a blessing. Turn to Leviticus chapter 23, Vayikra chapter 23. Vamos a buscar una bendición. Vámonos a Levítico 23. Leviticus, Vayikra chapter 23, verse 23 through 25. Levítico 23, versículos 23 hasta el 25. Going on to the next slide. Today's lesson is Messianic lesson number HB005, Yom Teruah. Hear and listen for the instructions. Esta es la lección mesiánica HB005 Yom Teruah. Oye, escucha las instrucciones. Messianic lesson number HB005 Yom Teruah. Hear and listen for the instructions. Lección mesiánica HB005 Yom Teruah. Oye y escucha las instrucciones. Going on to the next slide. Everything you hear today will be in English and in Spanish. Todo lo que escuches en este día será en inglés y en español. We go out to many different nations. Salimos a muchas naciones. And it gives people an opportunity to translate into their own language. Esto le entrega la oportunidad a otro para que eh, traduzcan en sus propios idiomas. Going on to the next slide. This uh, lesson today will have a synopsis and three sections. La lección de este día tendrá un resumen y tres secciones, tres temas. I'm going to read in English and our good friend Elizabeth is going to read in Spanish. Amen. Synopsis. There's a great difference in spirit and in truth between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Teruah. In this Holy Day lesson, we are going to take a, take a deep look into this statement. We're going to look at the diamond of the word Teruah, Shema, Teshuvah, and Blessing. Amén. Vamos a leer el resumen. Yeah, Spanish should be there. Yep. Vamos a leer el resumen. Dice, hay una gran diferencia en espíritu y en verdad entre Rosh Hashanah y Yom Teruah. En esta lección de los días santos, analizaremos en profundidad esa declaración. Vamos a ver el diamante de la, de la palabra Teruah de las palabras Teruah, Shema, Teshuvah y bendición. Going on to the next slide. Holy Day lesson number one. Remember, we're going to go to the book of Matthew, Matthew 25, verse 6. The phrase cry, rang out. But actually, we're going to start in Leviticus 23, verse 23 to 25. Complete rest for remembering. Shemot, Exodus, chapter 12, verse 2. The New Year. By Ecker, Leviticus, chapter 23, verse 23 to 25. Omidbar, Numbers chapter 10, verse 1 through 10, use them for. Vayakar, Leviticus chapter 23, verse 24, blast. Omidbar, Numbers chapter 10, verse 5 and 6, Teruah is all about an alarm and movement from where you are to another place. Omidbar, Numbers 31, chapter, uh, chapter 31, verse 1 through 9, Teruah is about you will have victory over your enemies if you repent. Yehoshua, Joshua, chapter 6, verse 4 and 5. Teruah is about the walls walls that, that tumble down if you believe and are obedient. Ezra, chapter 3, verse 10 through 13, cry, crying about all the lost time. Had we just listened to our father, but now we come, have come back. Psalm 89, verse 14 and 15, the shout of Yom Teruah. For those who hunger for the truth. Metiahu, chapter 5, verse 6. Revelation 11, verse 15 through 18. The seventh angel sounded his shofar. First Kings 1 
through 34, sound the shofar and say, long live the king. Español. Amén. Lección del día santo número uno. Recuerda, Mateo 25, 6, la frase sonó el grito. Levítico 23, el 23 hasta el 25, descanso completo para recordar. Éxodo 2, versículo 2, el año nuevo. Levítico 23, del 23 hasta el 25. Números 10, del 1 hasta el 10, úsalos para. Levítico, Levítico 23, 24, ráfaga. Números 10, del 5 hasta el 6, Terúa se trata sobre una alarma y un movimiento desde donde estás hacia otro lugar. Números 31, del 1 hasta el 9, Terúa se trata de que tendrás la victoria sobre tus enemigos si te arrepientes. Josué 6, del 4 hasta el 5, Terúa se trata de las paredes que se derrumban si crees y eres obediente. Estras 3, del 10 hasta el 13, hasta el 13, llorando por todo el tiempo perdido, si hubieras escuchado a nuestro Padre. Pero ahora hemos regresado. Salmo 89, del 14 hasta el 15, el grito de Yom Teruah para los que tienen hambre de la verdad. Mateo 5, 6, Apocalipsis 11, del 15 hasta el 18, el séptimo ángel tocó su chofar. Primer libro de Reyes 1.34, tocarás trompeta diciendo, viva el rey. Going on to, huh? to Holy Day lesson number two, hearing. Metiahu, Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 through 6, the cry of the shofar rang out. Divarim, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 and 5, Yom Teruah is a reminder to love with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Holy Day lesson number three. Teshuvah, for your blessings, Devarim, Deuteronomy 30, verse 1 through 14. Teshuvah, with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, the Om Teruah difference. By Ekra, Leviticus, chapter 23, verse 24. Amén. Primera, eh, segunda lección del día santo y tercera lección del día santo. Audiencia, Mateo, Mateo 25, del 1 hasta el 6, resonó el clamor del chofar. Deuteronomio 6, del 4 hasta el 5, John Terua es el recordatorio de amar con todo tu corazón, mente, alma y fuerza. Tercera lección, dice Teshuva por tus bendiciones. Deuteronomio 30, del 1 hasta el 14, hasta el 14, Teshuva con todo tu corazón, mente, alma y fuerza. La diferencia de John Terua. Levítico 23, versículo 24. Amen. Let's go get our blessing. Turn. The Leviticus, for chapter 23, verse 23 through 25. Vamos a buscar nuestra bendición. Vámonos a Levítico 23, del 23 hasta el 25. Jehovah said to Moshe, Tell the people of Israel, In the seventh month, the first of the month, is to be for you a day of complete rest for remembering. A holy convocation announced the blast on the shofar. Do not do any kind of ordinary work and bring an offering made by fire to Jehovah. Amen? Amen. The main part that we're going to be focusing uh, on this particular Yom Teruah La parte principal en la cual nos enfocaremos en este Yom Teruah en particular. In verse 24 there's the word remember. Es en el versículo 24 que nos muestra la palabra conmemoración o acuérdate. In our first definition we're going to look at the word remember. I'm going to read it in English and Elizabeth's going to do it in Spanish. Mm. Vamos a la definición de la palabra recuerda. Okay. Remember is H2146. It is the Hebrew root word zikron. It means memorial, reminder, remembrance. Amén. Vamos a la definición de la palabra conmemoración o recordar. Dice, primera definición, memorial, recordatorio, recuerdo. So what we're going to look at today Lo que estaremos observando en este día is something very different than what the The Orthodox Jews are doing. Es algo muy diferente a lo que están haciendo los judíos ortodoxos. They're celebrating a new year. Ellos están celebrando el año nuevo. But God in His Word, Jehovah in His Word. Pero Jehová en su palabra. In verse 24. En el versículo 24. Is telling us that this day is about a memorial. Nos está diciendo que este día es una conmemoración. About remembering something. Que se trata de recordar o de acordarte de algo. The second part, the second part we learn about in verse 24. La segunda parte que aprendemos del versículo 24. Let's read verse 24 again. Vamos a, lea, a leerlo nuevamente. Tell the people of Israel, in the seventh month, the first of the month, is to be for you a day of complete rest for remembering. A holy convocation announced with the blast, with blasts on the shofar. Amen. 
Amén. So the second key that we're looking at today la segunda clave que estamos analizando en este día is a holy convocation. es una convocación santa. Now what's very interesting about what we read in verse 24. Ahora hay algo muy interesante acerca de lo que leímos en el versículo 24. It does not say a holy convocation for any of the other First of the month, the Rosh Kodeshim. No dice que tengas una convocación santa para ninguno de los otros eh, me, eh, the other months. de los otros meses. Okay, but for the seventh month, it is very something very special. Pero para el séptimo mes, esto es algo muy especial. On this particular first of the month. En este primer día del mes en particular. The other eleven months, you don't do this. En los otros once meses restantes, tú no haces esto. But for the seventh month, you have a holy convocation. Pero para el séptimo mes se te eh, dice que hagas una convocación santa. And what we read in verse 24. Lo que leímos en el versículo 24. It has something to do with remembering. Es algo que tiene que ver con un memorial, con acordarte de algo. It's not going to have anything to do with apples and honey. No tiene nada que ver con manzana. Ni con miel. Although apples and honey does taste really good. Aunque las manzanas y la miel tengan buen sabor, sepan bien. When I was a kid, I used to love those candy apples. I don't know if anybody else did. A Rabbi no le gustaban las manzanas eh, eh, cubiertas de caramelo. Now if I did that, my teeth would come out of my head. <laughs> Son duras. Ahora si se la come, se le rompe un diente. My favorite was the caramel ca candy apple. Le gustaba esa manzana cubierta de caramelo. Okay, so apples and honey are good, but it's not commanded for us to do on this holy day. Las manzanas y la miel son buenas, pero no se nos ordena que comamos eso en este día santo. But what we do understand about today. Pero lo que sí podemos entender acerca de este día. That is different from the other 11 months. Que es diferente a los demás meses, a los otros 11 meses. That we are to have a holy convocation. Que tenemos que tener una convocación santa. So if you're near a messianic congregation that's celebrating The holy day, you should be there. Si te encuentras cerca de una congregación mesiánica que observe los días santos, tú deberías hacerte presente, estar allí. Now let's read verse 24 again. Leamos el versículo 24 nuevamente. Tell the people of Israel in the seventh month, the first of the month is to be for you a day of complete rest for remembering a holy convocation announced with blasts on the shofar. Amen. Amen. So we got something to remember. Tenemos algo que debemos acordarnos oh, o recordar. A holy convocation. Una santa convocación. And then we have the the shofar is y, involved in that verse. Y luego de eso también se envuelve o se involucra o involucra lo que es el shofar. So today we're going to look a lot at what the, the purpose of the shofar is. Hoy veremos en profundidad cuál es el propósito del shofar. If Jehovah tells me to remember something with the shofar it's very important to him si Jehová nos dice que nos acordemos de algo que involucra o que envuelve al shofar eso significa que es muy importante para él and we're going to look at what the shofar means to Jehová vamos a ver lo que significa el shofar para Jehová but before looking at that pero antes de analizar todo eso first we have to dispel some myths primero tenemos que eh, sacar del lugar algunos mitos que hay eh, mm -hmm. de sacarlos a la luz. As I said in last night's mini lesson, Como el rabino lo mencionó en la mini lección que dieron anoche. My family, the Orthodox Jews, confuses people. La familia, los judíos ortodoxos confunden a la gente. And it, the people of Israel are confusing the rest of the world because they're not really following the Bible. Las personas en Israel están confundiendo a, la, a los demás en el mundo porque ellos realmente no siguen la Biblia. One, they didn't cite the moon. Por un lado, ellos no divisaron la luna. Israel was celebrating celebrating Rosh Hashanah two days ago. Israel estuvo celebrando Rosh Hashanah hace dos días. So they've made, they've, the rabbis have made something up. Los rabinos se inventaron esto. So the first thing that we must uh, come to an understanding Lo primero que debemos de llegar a un entendimiento de ello is what is the beginning of the year. Es, eh, ¿Qué significa lo, eh, ser cabeza de año o principio de año? Hold your place in Leviticus 23. Mantén tu lugar en Levítico 23. And turn to Shemot, Exodus chapter 12, verse number 2. Vámonos a Éxodo 12, versículo 2. Shemot, Exodus chapter 12, verse 2. Éxodo 12, versículo 2. So we're going to see very clearly when the beginning of the year is. Veremos claramente cuál es la cabeza o el principio de año. It says in Exodus Shemot 
chapter 12, verse number 2. You are to begin your calendar with this month. It will be the first month of the year for you. Amen? Amen. So that's a very clear verse. Es un versículo bastante claro. Okay, that you're to begin your year with this month. Que debes de empezar tu año con este mes. And then if you were to read further, it would talk about the 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 holy day of Pesach, Passover. Y, y si leyeras más adelante lo que sigue después de eso se trata de Pesach. So you're going to have an event. Tendrás un evento. And this is Jehovah telling us that this is the beginning of our year. Y es Jehovah quien nos está diciendo que este es el comienzo del año. And when he said this to us. Y cuando él nos dijo esto. We weren't even out of Egypt. Ni siquiera estábamos fuera de Egipto. So we were celebrating in a foreign country. Estuvimos observando la fiesta en un país extranjero. So when somebody says you're not to do the whole you only do the holy days in the land of Israel. Cuando alguien te diga que solo debes de observar los días santos en la tierra de Israel. God was telling us to do this and we were in Egypt. El Señor nos dijo que hiciéramos eso y aún estábamos en Egipto. So in, Le in Leviticus 23 he said it three times no matter where you live. En Levítico 23 el Lord lo dice tres veces no importando donde vivas. So how did we come to understand it understand that this is Rosh Hashanah. Entonces, ¿cómo es que llegamos a la conclusión de que esto se trata de Rosh Hashanah? Okay. In the writings of the rabbis. En los escritos de los rabinos. If you're taking notes, I'm going to give you a reference that you can write down. Para lo que están tomando notas, el rabino te va a dar referencias para que las escribas. It's the book called the Mishnah Sanhedrin 38b. Ese, eso se encuentra en la Mishnah, en el eh, Sanhedrin eh, 34, ¿no? Uh, 38B. 38B. Okay. Mishnah Sanhedrin 38B. Eso se encuentra en la Mishnah. Uh, the, the rabbis write. Ahí los rabinos escriben. Jewish tradition believes that Adam was created on this day. Que la tradición judía nos cuenta que el día de la creación o que nació Adam fue en este día, en esta fecha. Let me say that again. Lo va a repetir. The rabbis believe that Adam was created on this day. Los rabinos creen que que Adam fue creado en esta fecha, en este día. I thought Adam was created on the sixth day. Yo pensé que él había sido creado en el sexto día. See, this is what happens when you don't read Torah. Esto es lo que sucede cuando tú no lees la Torah. Adam was created on the sixth day. Adam fue creado en el sexto día. Not the first day of the seventh month. No en el primer día del séptimo mes. Now, how did they decide that this is the day the world was created? Ahora, ¿cómo decidieron ellos que este fue el día en que el mundo fue creado? Now, this is something very interesting. Esto es algo muy interesante. This is what happens when you smoke too much pot. Eso es lo que sucede cuando consumes muchas drogas. Your brain turns to mush. Se daña tu cerebro. All right, the rabbis did this. Los rabinos hicieron esto. Eso que está haciendo el rabino. Take those Hebrew letters. Tomaron esas letras hebreas. And take the word Bereshit, which is the first word in, in the Bible. Y tomaron la palabra Bereshit, que es la primera palabra que se encuentra en la Biblia. Mix the letters up. Mezclaron todo eso. And it will say, Aleph B. Tishri. Y ahí diría esa palabra en hebreo que eh, pronunció el rabino. And all the other rabbis said, I see it too, man. Los otros rabinos se pusieron de acuerdo también. That's like, huh? Here, man. Next year in Jerusalem, that's so like out of this world, man. So they took the letters and mixed them up. Tomaron las letras, señores, y las mezclaron. And it said, Aleph Tishri, the first of the seventh month. Y ahí dice, el primer día del séptimo mes. And then they said, Y luego declararon, Yom Teruah is the known birthday of Adam. Que Yom Teruah es el cumpleaños de Adam. Ahí está la droga. This is the first day of the seventh month. Este es el primer el, el día primero del séptimo mes. Adam was created on the sixth day. Adam fue creado en el sexto día. The Mishnah, the writings of the rabbis, la also, Mishnah, los escritos de los rabinos, also write Rosh Hashanah. También en esos escritos se encuentran que Rosh Hashanah 
is the anniversary of creation. Es el aniversario de la creación. In the seventh month. En el séptimo mes. I thought the world, you know, the light was created on the first day. Yo pensé que la luz fue creada en el primer día. People were created on the sixth day. Que las personas, el hombre fue creado en el sexto día. Another thing that the rabbis write. Otra cosa que escribieron los rabinos. But this will come true one day. Y esto sí se va a cumplir <laughs> muy pronto algún día. Rosh Hashanah represents the day that God be began to rule as king of the universe. Rosh Hashanah representa el día en el cual el Señor empezó a regir como rey del universo. When Yeshua comes back, he will reign as king of the universe. Cuando Yeshua regrese, él sí va a reinar, se va a posicionar como rey del universo. There's a, good, a really good book by Barney Kasdan. Hay un buen libro de parte de este autor ba Basni. Okay, Barney Kasdan. Barney. Barney. I Barney. love you. <laughs> Barney. <laughs> dun, dun. Okay. Um, the rabbis gave so much significance to this special Shabbat. Los rabinos le dan tanto sentido a este Shabbat en especial. That the rabbis then considered this a spiritual new year. Que los rabinos entonces consideran que es el año nuevo espiritual. And you can read that in Barney's book. It's a, it's a good book. It's only about 100 pages long. Podrás leerlo en el libro de, eh, de ese autor. I have a copy of it somewhere in my house. El rabino tiene una copia de él. So they made this, this spiritual new year and thus... Rosh Hashanah became the head of the year. Ellos se inventaron ese año nuevo espiritual y que Rosh Hashanah es la cabeza o principio de año. Okay. A um, little bit more history before we move back to the Torah. Un poquito más de historia antes de irnos de vuelta a la Torah. After the destruction of the second temple. Después de la, de de la destrucción del segundo templo. The rabbis write in the Mishnah. Los rabinos escribieron en la Mishnah. Yom Teruah is the start of the Jewish civil year. Que Yom Teruah es el principio del, del calendario del año civil judío. I thought Exodus 12 verse 2 said that was the beginning of the year. Yo pensé que Exodus 12 2 declaraba que ese era el principio del año. Okay. Uh, additional Rosh Hashanah observances include. Otras observancias para Rosh Hashanah eh, incluyen. An apple dipped in honey. <laughs> incluye mojar una manza, eh, pedazos de manzana en... Eh, untarlos de miel. This symbolizes that you would have a sweet new year. Esto simboliza que tendrás un año nuevo dulce. Uh, another thing that they do in Rosh Hashanah. Otra cosa que hacen en Rosh Hashanah. As they say, Lashana Tova, may your name be inscribed in the book of life. Ellos dicen que tu nombre sea inscrito en el libro de la vida. And sealed for a good year. Now that's something y, nice. Y que sea sellado para un buen año. But it's not in the Bible. Bueno, eso suena muy bonito, pero eso no es bíblico. Uh, And another thing that the, the rabbis do Otra cosa que hacen los rabinos is something called tishlik, uh, tashlik. Es otra cosa que se llama tashlik. This is, you say, you say a prayer near a body of water. Eso es que tú declaras tu oración cerca de masas de agua o de ríos. And you cast your sins on the water. Y que echas tus pecados al agua. So you're casting your own sins away. Tú estás echando fuera tus propios pecados. Um, First day of the seventh month. En el primer día del séptimo mes. I don't know what you're smoking, but I don't want it. El rabino no sabe qué tipo de drogas están consumiendo, pero él no las quiere. All right, let's go back to Leviticus 23, verse 23 to 25. Vámonos de vuelta a Levítico 23, del 23 hasta el 25. You have to have a little history lesson to understand why we're not celebrating Rosh Hashanah. Te dimos un pequeño recuento de historia para que entiendas el por qué no debemos celebrar Rosh Hashanah. Why I'm not going to say to you, Shana Tova. El rabino no te va a desear un feliz año. I'll say that when we celebrate Passover. Te lo va a decir cuando celebremos Pesa. Okay, then you would have a good year. Para que tengas un buen año. Okay, back to the Torah, Leviticus 23, verse 23 through 25. Levítico 23, del 23 hasta el 25. Jehovah said to Moshe, tell the people of Israel, in the seventh month, the first of the month, is to be for you a day of complete rest for remembering a holy convocation announced with Last, on the shofar, do not do any kind of ordinary work and bring an offering made by fire to Jehovah. Amen? Amen. So this is what Yom Teruah is all about. De eso se trata Yom Teruah. Okay. It is not about casting your own sins away. No se trata de echar fuera tus propios pecados. It is not about 
Remembering to say to somebody, have a good new year. No se trata de desearle a otro que tenga feliz año. It is not about remembering to eat apples and honey. No se trata de acordarte de que comas manzanas y miel. Okay, let's read verse 23 to 25 again. Leamos los versículos 23 hasta el 25 nuevamente. Jehovah said to Moshe, tell the people of Israel, in the seventh month, the first of the month, is to be for you a day of complete rest for remembering. A holy convocation announced with a blast on the shofar. Do not do any kind of ordinary work. And bring an offering made by fire to Jehovah. Amen? Amen. So once again, in verse 23, Una vez más en el versículo 23, it's about something that we have to remember. Se trata de algo que tenemos que acordarnos. Yom Teruah is about a memorial. Yom Teruah se trata de una conmemoración. Okay? And it's about the shofar. So y, what, what, is, what is so important about the shofar? Y se trata del shofar y cuál es la importancia del shofar. If Jehovah tells me to remember something with the shofar, what is its purpose? Si Jehovah nos, oh, nos dice que nos acordemos de algo al son de la trompeta del shofar, eh, ¿cuál es la importancia de ello? What is that purpose that we need to understand? ¿Cuál es el propósito de ello? ¿Cuál es el propósito que debemos entender? Especially in the times that we are living in, especialmente en los tiempos que estamos viviendo. You know, in San Francisco, they're paying people, 10 people, $300 a month not to shoot other people. En San Francisco le están ofertando a las personas el pagarle 300 dólares para que no le disparen a su prójimo, a I, otra persona. I don't think they're legal gun owners in the first place. Bueno, ellos no tienen armas legales para empezar. So why don't you just take their gun away? Quítenle las armas de fuego entonces. Okay. Uh, so they're paying people $300 a month not to shoot anybody else. Do you think that the, those people are really going to keep their promises? ¿Crees tú que esas personas verdaderamente guardarán su palabra? So God is telling us for this day that we are in, el Señor nos está diciendo a nosotros para este día en el cual nos encontramos. I want you to remember something. Yo quiero que te acuerdes de algo. I want you to remember your promises to God. Yo quiero que tú te acuerdes de tus promesas que le hiciste al Señor. I want you to remember that you're his child. Yo quiero que tú te acuerdes de que tú le perteneces a él que eres su hijo. I want you to remember that you have been redeemed. Quiero que te acuerdes de que tú has sido redimido. I want you to remember that you made a covenant with Yeshua the Messiah. Quiero que te acuerdes que tú hiciste un pacto, una alianza con Yeshua el Mesías. So in the Torah about the shofar. En la Torah y esto está hablando acerca del shofar. The shofar calls you to remember what your king In heaven wants you to remember. El shofar te hace un llamado a que te acuerdes lo que tu rey desea de ti let's o desea read, que tú hagas. Let's read verse 24 again. Leamos el versículo 24 nuevamente. Tell the people of Israel in the seventh month, the first of the month is to be for you a day of complete rest for remembering. A holy convocation announced with blasts on the shofar. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to look at what Yom Teruah means. Ahora veremos lo que representa, lo que significa Yom Teruah. Okay, we have a holy convocation which we are at right now. Tenemos una convocación santa en la cual nos encontramos ahora mismo. And this feast centers around the shofar. Y esta fiesta se centra alrededor de lo que es el shofar. So let's take a look at what the shofar means. What, Vamos what, a observar lo que significa el shofar. What purpose it, it, it is used for. Y para qué propósito se usa. So turn to Numbers, Bamidbar Numbers chapter 10 verse 1 through 10 Vámonos a Números 10 del 1 hasta el 10 Numbers 10 verse 1 through 10 by Midbar Números 10 del 1 hasta el 10 Okay we're going to study the purpose of the shofar Estudiaremos el propósito del shofar And why this particular holy day you sound it and what its purpose is Y por qué en este día santo en particular debes de sonarlo y el propósito de sonarlo. Numbers chapter 10 but Midbar 10 verse 1 through 10. Números 10 del 1 hasta el 10. Jehovah said to Moshe, make two trumpets, make them of hammered silver. Use them for summoning the community and for sounding the call to break camp and move on. When they are sounded, the entire community is to assemble before you at the entrance to the tent of meeting. If only one is sounded, 
Then just the leaders, the heads of the, of the clans of Israel, are to assemble before you. When you sound an alarm, the camps to the east will commence traveling. When you sound a second alarm, the camps to the south will set out. They will sound alarms to announce when to travel. However, when the community is to be assembled, you are to sound, but don't sound an alarm. It will be the sons of Aaron, the Kohanim, who are to sound the, the trumpets. This will be a permanent regulation for you through all your generations. <coughs> Excuse me. When you go to <coughs> when you go to war in your land against the, uh, an adversary who is oppressing you, you are to sound an alarm with the trumpets. Then you will be remembered before Jehovah, your Elohim, and you will be saved from your enemies. Also on your dates of rejoicing at your designated times on Rosh Kodesh, you are to sound the trumpets over your burnt offerings, over the sacrifices of peace offerings. These will be your reminder before your Elohim. I am Jehovah, your Elohim. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we're going to go over what we're going to go over what that all meant. Vamos a repasar todo lo que significa o lo que quiere decir todo esto. Okay, verse number two. Versículo dos. Make two trumpets, make them of hammered silver. Use them for summoning the community and sounding the call to break the camp and move on. Amen? Amen. So the first thing that we use the shofar are the trumpet for. Para lo primero que utilizamos el shofar o la trompeta. It's to summon people to a gathering. Es para convocar a las personas a que se reúnan. So write that for your notes. Escríbelo para tus notas. Okay. The trumpet is used to summon people for a gathering. La trompeta se utiliza para convocar al pueblo para que se reúna. To summon people for a gathering. Para convocar a las personas al pueblo a la reunión a que se reúnan. To summon people for a gathering. Para convocar a reunión. Okay. When you summon the people, cuando tú convocas al pueblo, you're going to give them instructions. Le darás in instrucciones. So the trumpet is telling us today. La trompeta nos está diciendo en este día. That one were to gather. Eh, por una parte que debemos de eh, reunirnos. And you're going to get instructions from the King of the Universe. Y que recibirás instrucción de parte del Rey del Universo. Look at verse number two again. Lean el versículo dos nuevamente. Make two trumpets, make them of hammered silver. Use them for summoning the community and for sounding the call to break camp and move on. Amen? Amen. All right. So you're, you're going to summon the, the people. Vas a convocar al pueblo. You're going to tell them to break camp. Les vas a decir que partan. You're going to give them instructions. Les vas a entregar instrucciones. You're going to tell them to move on or which way, what, what we're doing. Les vas a decir que marchen, que se muevan de lugar o lo que se va a hacer. Now there are two thoughts on the The hammered silver trumpets. Ahora hay dos pensamientos, hay dos opiniones en cuanto a las trompetas hechas al martillo. There are two schools of thought of what these what these trumpets look like. Hay dos escuelas de pensamiento con de, en cuanto a cómo lucen estas trompetas. One is a regular silver trumpet. Una de ellas es que es una trompeta norma, eh, regular, ordinaria and, de plata. And another is you take a shofar and you coat it in silver and hammer it. Down, it will change the sound. Otro pensamiento es que al shofar lo cubren de plata y lo hacen con el martillo y esto cambia el sonido del shofar. Okay, so either way you're going to get instructions. De cualquier modo tú vas a recibir instrucciones. You're going to get instructions to either stay where you are. Vas a recibir instrucciones de quedarte quieto donde estás. Move to a different location. O de marcharte a otra localidad. To break camp or to stay in camp. Para partir o marchar o quedarte en el campamento. Verse number three again. Versículo Verse 3. El 3, por favor. Verse 3. Versículo 3. When they are sounded, the entire community is to assemble before you at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Amen? Amen. Okay, so now in verse number 3. Ahora en el versículo 3. We got to understand the military a little bit. Tenemos que entender lo que es el ejército un poquito. Okay. In our revolutionary war, en nuestra guerra de la revolución, they would use drummers. Utilizaban lo que eran los que tocaban la, el tambor o las tamboras. To tell the, the men how to march faster or march slower. Para dejarles saber al ejército que tenían que marchar más rápido, más eh, lento. They would the drums would be used to 
tell people which direction to go. Las tamboras o los tambores se utilizaban para indicarle en qué dirección debían de marchar. So this is where the, the writings of the rabbis do come in handy. De esta forma sí son útiles los eh, los escritos de los rabinos. Because you got to understand what what the sound would be like for for meeting. Porque tienes que entender o discernir cuál sería el sonido que se usa, por ejemplo, para una reunión. What the sound would be for breaking camp. O el que se utilizaría para partir, para marchar. Because this is all military understanding. Porque todo esto conlleva un entendimiento de lo que es eh, la milicia o el ejército. And there are four different sounds, and then you can mix the four different sounds to make different uh, Instructions. Hay cuatro sonidos diferentes y puedes mezclarlos para así dar instrucciones diferentes. Okay. The four sounds are tequila. Estos cuatro sonidos, uno de ellos es tequila. Shivarin. Shivarin. Terua. Terua. And tequila gedola. Y tequila gedola. Tequila. Tequila. Is a pure, unbroken sound. Es un sonido ininterrumpido. Spiritually, it means for you to search your heart. Espiritualmente significa que escudriñes tu corazón. So pure unbroken sound. Es un sonido ininterrumpido. Okay, so you have a pure unbroken sound. Es un sonido ininterrumpido, es un sonido puro. And shivering. Y shivering. You have a staccato sound that goes. Da, 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 da. Tienes un sonido en esto caso. Okay. Uh, spiritually. Espiritualmente. It uh, tells you to search your heart. Te dice, te indica que escudriñes, que busques tu corazón. So, uh, br br staccato sound. Este es el sonido. Okay, it's a staccato type of sound. Ahí está, es un sonido en toques. And terua, y terua is a sound like a woo, like your car alarm. Es un sonido en ondas, así como una alarma de carro. It's like an alarm to waking, awaken your spirit. Es como una alarma para despertar tu espíritu. Okay, so it's, it's a wave-like sound. Es un sonido en ondas. Okay, and tequila gedola is a long, loud sound. Y tequila gedola es uno largo y es bastante alto. Okay. So you have those four different sounds. Tenemos esos cuatro sonidos diferentes. And you can mix the sounds together. Y puedes mezclarlos. To instruct you to what you're supposed to do and everybody was supposed to study this. Para instruir, para saber lo que debes de hacer y todos están supuestos a estudiar esto. And tequila gedola. Y tequila gedola. This loud for sounding. Este, este sonido que es bastante alto. Is, um. This is spiritually what it's supposed to mean. Espiritualmente está supuesto a tener su significado. It's to call you to sincere repentance. Es de, de hacerte un llamamiento, un llamado al arrepentimiento genuino. But more we're focusing on what the shofar is telling us in scripture to do. Pero más que esto nos estamos enfocando en qué nos indica el shofar por medio de la escritura, qué nos indica que, que hagamos. In verse number, let's go to verse number four. Vámonos al versículo cuatro. If only one is sounded, then just the leaders are the head. If only one is sounded, then just the leaders, the heads of the clans of Israel, are to assemble before you. Amen. Amen. So in verse number four, for the this shofar sound. En el versículo cuatro para el sonido del shofar. This one is calling just the leaders to come. Este ya este está haciendo un llamado solo para que los líderes se reúnen. Just the heads of the household, the heads of clans. Los padres de familia, las cabezas de hogar. Okay, so once again the shofar is being called to assemble you together. Una vez más el shofar te está haciendo el llamado, te está convocando. But in this particular sounding. Pero en este sonido en particular. Only one is sounded. Solamente se toca una sola vez. And this particular sound would 
that they would make would only call the leaders. Este sonido en particular que ellos harían o este toque solo convocaría a los líderes. So you had to know what that sound was for just the leaders. Entonces tendrías que reconocer cuál era ese sonido que se utilizaba solo para los líderes. Now why are we all being called on Yom Teruah? Ahora por qué se nos está convocando a todos en Yom Teruah? Because in Deuteronomy 14 verse 2 and 1 Peter 2:9 es porque en Deuteronomio 14, 2. Ajá, uh -huh. en 1 Peter 2, 9. Y en primera carta de Pedro 2, 9. We're called to be a nation of leaders. Se nos llama para que, para que seamos una nación de líderes. So that's why in Yom Teruah, you're getting instruction. Por eso es que en Yom Teruah, tú recibes instrucciones. You're getting orders in pursuant with verse number 4. Estás recibiendo órdenes que... Eh, prosiguen lo que es el versículo 4 Because the shofar is sounded, porque se toca el shofar and you're supposed to get your leader's instructions y tú deberías de entregarle a los líderes instrucciones as a leader of a home como líder de una familia as a leader of a home como líder de familia as a leader to be a head of a family someday como un líder que será cabeza de familia algún día you need to understand what to do right debes de entender lo que debes de hacer okay So in verse number four, the leaders are being assembled. En el versículo 4 a los líderes se les está convocando. The shofar is calling them to assemble. El shofar los está convocando, les está haciendo un llamado. And they're getting orders on what to do. Están recibiendo las órdenes de lo que deben de hacer. But what we also see in verse four. Pero también lo que podemos notar en el versículo 4 After you receive your orders, what do you do with them? Después que recibes la orden, ¿qué es lo que haces con ella? You bring those orders back to your clan. Trae esas órdenes y las llevas a tu clan. And you tell the, your clan, your family, what you're going to do. Y le dices, entonces le explicas a tu familia lo que eh, vas a hacer. Okay. Uh, tequila, tequila. That pure unbroken sound. Es ese sonido eh, ininterrumpido. Okay, the tequila was a pure unbroken sound, right? Es un sonido puro ininterrumpido. <laughs> It's a soft, unbroken sound, right? Es un sonido suave, pero es ininterrumpido. Okay. So you would bring your orders back to your, your clan. Tú llevarías las órdenes a tu clan, a tu familia. Okay, the orders were getting into your heart, into your, your nefesh, your spirit. Esas órdenes que se entregaron a tu corazón, a tu nefesh, a tu espíritu. Now let's go to verse 5 and 6. Vámonos ahora a los versículos 5 y 6. When you sound an alarm... The camps to the east will commence traveling. When you sound the second alarm, the camps to the south will set out. They will sound the alarms to announce when to travel. Amen. Amen. So now we're being told in verse 5 and 6 that there's an alarm sound. Ahora se nos está diciendo en los versículos 5 y 6 que hay un sonido de alarma. That was shivering. Ese fue shivering. That staccato sound, that, that alarm sound. Da, 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 da. Ese sonido como una alarma. Because that, that's like a marching sound. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. Es como un sonido que se utiliza en las marchas. Because in verse 5 and 6 you're being told to march, you're, you're told to commence traveling, you're walking, you're marching. En los versículos 5 y 6 se está indicando, instruyendo a que marches, a que prosigas, que so, camines. So this is why each year you, you're celebrating Yom Teruah, not Rosh Hashanah. Por eso es que aquí estamos celebrando Yom Teruah y no Rosh Hashanah. Because you're supposed to get instructions from the king. Porque tú estás supuesto a recibir instrucciones de parte del rey. You're to bring that back to your clan. Deberías de llevarla de vuelta a tu clan, a tu familia. And now we're going to be marching to this location. We're, we're going to be moving to a location. Ahora estaremos partiendo a otra localidad, a otro lugar. Okay, so you're you're packing up everything. Estás empacándolo todo. Okay, you've heard the alarm. Escuchaste la alarma. You're beginning to march from the one location to the next location. Empiezas a marchar de una localidad a otra. Okay, and you're going to change where where you were living at that point. Y te moverás, cambiarás del lugar, del lugar donde estabas viviendo. Look at verse 5 and 6 again. Lean los versículos 5 y 6 nuevamente. When you sound the alarm, the camps to the east will commence traveling. When you sound the second alarm, the camps to the south will set out. They will sound the alarms to announce when to travel. Amen. Amen. So this, the shofar is ta talking to you to travel to the holy convocation. El shofar te está indicando que marches a la convocación santa. Okay. You're, you're 
Hearing the instruction. Estás escuchando las instrucciones. You're hearing the shofar, it's calling to your heart. Estás escuchando el shofar que está haciendo un llamado a tu corazón. And now you're going to be traveling to this next destination. Ahora estarás partiendo, marchando a la siguiente eh, a, a tu siguiente destino. Now let's think of that spiritually. Vamos a pensar todo esto en lo espiritual. This starts the 10 this starts a period of 10 days. Esto empieza el periodo de 10 días. Okay? And in 10 days we're going to be celebrating the holy day of Yom Kippur. Y en die, dentro de 10 días estaremos celebrando el día santo Yom Kippur. Now in the Brit Hanashah, Yeshua talks about Ahora en el nuevo pacto Yeshua habla acerca de If you and your brother have a brother or sister have a problem. De que si tú y tu hermano tienen algún problema. Before you go to offer your gift before the Lord. Antes de que tú vayas a entregarle tu ofrenda al Señor. Yeshua the Messiah says leave your gift there. Y Yeshua el Mesías te dice que dejes tu ofrenda allí. Go make it right with somebody that you had a problem with. Y que arregles las cosas con aquella persona que tuviste alguna dificultad o problema. So the show is calling you to travel. El chofar te está llamando a que marches, a que viajes. To go make it right with somebody that you may have had a problem with during the year. Para que arregles las cosas con quizás alguien que tuviste problemas en el año. In verse number 4. En el versículo 4. We talked about the leaders assembling. Se nos habla de la convocación que se le hace a los líderes. So you're the leader. We're, we're all supposed to be leaders, right? Todos estamos supuestos a ser líderes. We're supposed to be a nation of priests. De, estamos supuestos a ser una nación de sacerdotes. So you're to travel to that person that you may have had a problem with during the year. Tienes que viajar o marchar a acercarte a esa persona que quizás tuviste dificultad eh, yeah. a través del año. And you got to make it right. Y tienes que arreglar las cosas. Okay, because you're you're the leader. Porque tú eres el líder. Okay. Verse 5 and 6 again. Versículo 5 y 6 nuevamente. When you sound the alarm, the camps to the east will commence traveling. When you sound the second alarm, the camps to the south will set out. They will sound alarms to announce when to travel. Amen. Amen. Okay, so this march you're get you're getting your marching orders today. En este día se te está dando el orden o las órdenes para que marchas, marches, para que partas. It's not about the new year. No se trata del año nuevo. It's about you hearing from God and you got to make things right. Se trata de tú escuchar de parte del Señor y arreglar las cosas. Let's look at verse number 7. Leamos el versículo 7. However, when the community is to be assembled, you are to sound, but don't sound an alarm. Amen. Amen. So now we got a different sound. Ahora se nos entrega un sonido diferente. When, this one is for the community. Este es para la comunidad. So this is why we need to understand the different sounds on the shofar. Esta es la razón por la cual deberemos eh, debemos de entender los diferentes sonidos del shofar. Okay. So we got tequila. Tenemos tequila. A pure unbroken sound. Un sonido puro ininterrumpido. And it's then we had teruah, which was the wave-like sound. Luego tenemos teruah, que es uno en ondas. So in verse number seven, en el versículo siete, this is what Yom Teruah is all about, learning about the shofar and getting your instruction. De eso se trata Yom Teruah, de aprender acerca del shofar y recibir tus instrucciones. In verse number seven, let's en, read verse seven again. En el versículo siete, vamos a leerlo. However, when the community is to be assembled, you are to sound, but don't sound an alarm. Okay, so now... You have a sound to assemble the community. Ahora tenemos un sonido para convocar la comunidad. But it's not an alarm sound. Pero no es un sonido de alarma. So we got tequila, pure, unbroken sound. Tenemos tequila, es un sonido puro, ininterrumpido. Okay, so you got that sounding that calls the community together. Ese sonido, con ese se hace la convocación a la comunidad. It's not this sound. The no te, es. The terua is, is a different sound. Terua es un sonido diferente. So you're making a wave-like sound. Ese es un sonido en ondas. It's not that for the community. Ese no se utiliza para la comunidad. So you gotta understand all this because Yom Teruah is different than Rosh Hashanah. Tienes que entender todo esto porque Yom Teruah es diferente a Rosh Hashanah. Because the shofar is being used to now call the community. Porque el shofar ahora se está utilizando para convocar la comunidad. 
Now let's go to verse number nine. Vámonos al versículo nueve. Because this is an important one for things that are coming. Es un versículo muy importante para las cosas que se avecinan. Because this most certainly is on its way. Porque esto viene de camino. When you go to war in your land against an adversary who is oppressing you, you are to sound an alarm with the trumpets. When you when you will be then then you will be remembered before Jehovah your Elohim and you will be saved from your enemies. Let's read verse 9 again. Leamos el versículo 9 nuevamente. When you go to war in your land against an adversary who is oppressing you, you are to sound an alarm with the trumpets, then you will be remembered before Jehovah your Elohim and you will be saved from your enemies. Amen. Amen. Everybody want to be saved from the enemies? Todos quieren estar a salvos del enemigo. It's interesting because it says when you go to the war in your land. Es interesante porque ahí se nos dice cuando vayas a la guerra en tu tierra. That means the enemy has come to you. Eso significa que el enemigo ha venido hacia ti. You're not going to them. Tú no estás yendo hacia ellos. They're coming to attack you. Ellos están llegando para atacarte a ti. So it says you're to sound the, the alarm. Dice ahí que debes de tocar la alarma. So that you'll be remembered. Para que seas recordado. So that's the tequila gedola, the loud blast. Es el sonido tequila gedola que es uno muy alto. Okay, so that you'll be remembered before God. Será ser recordado delante del Señor. This is what the Lord is wanting you to understand about Yom Teruah. Esto es lo que el Señor quiere que tú entiendas acerca de Yom Teruah. It's a lot different than Rosh Hashanah eating apples and honey. Es muy diferente a Rosh Hashanah y el comer manzana con miel. Okay, this is not what's going on in Israel. Esto no es lo que está sucediendo en Israel. But it should be. Pero debería de serlo. Because this is God's word. Porque esta es la palabra del Señor. But there are They're saying, well, Shana Tova, have hey, a good year. Ellos están deseando un buen año, el uno al otro. But God is saying something completely different in Torah. El Señor en la Torah está diciendo algo completamente diferente. Now look at verse 9 again. Lean el versículo 9 otra vez. When you go to war in your land against an adversary who is oppressing you, you are to sound an alarm with the trumpets, then you will be remembered before Jehovah, your Elohim, and you will be saved from your enemies. Amen. Amen. This is why I talked about earlier that there's a two schools of thought about por, the, the trumpets. Por eso el rabino mencionó anteriormente que hay dos pensamientos en cuanto a las trompetas. Okay, because if you're in your own land, you're not at the temple. Porque si tú estás en tu propia tierra, no estás en el templo. You might not be a, a Cohen. Quizás tú no seas un Cohen. And uh, the adversary, an enemy, is attacking you. Y un enemigo viene para atacarte. So you sound the alarm before the Lord. Tocas entonces la alarma delante del Señor. Now, it says when you go to war. Dice ahí cuando vayas a la guerra. Now, before you go to war. Ahora, antes de ir a la guerra. You want to repent before the Lord so he's on your side. Querrás arrepentirte delante del Señor para que Él esté de tu lado, para que Él te apoye. You, you, you definitely want Jehovah Elohim on your side, right? Definitivamente querrás que el Señor esté de tu lado. Are we in agreement with that? Estamos de acuerdo con eso. All right. And we got things coming. I, I wish they weren't coming. Hay cosas que vienen. El rabino desea que no ven, vengan esas cosas. You know, sometimes I murmur to the Lord. A veces el rabino le murmura, el Señor le susurra. And then he reminds me, you, you, your ancestors did that in Egypt or in the desert. El murmura un poco, entonces el Señor le trae a la mente, bueno, tus ancestros hicieron eso en Egipto. Sometimes I, I say, I want to go back to New Jersey. A veces el rabino se dice, quiero irme de vuelta a New Jersey. And then the Lord says, You, your ancestors did that in the desert. El Señor le dice entonces, tus ancestros hicieron lo mismo en el desierto. I mean, there's a lot of, sadly, there's, there's a lot of bad things happening. Trista, tristemente, hay muchas cosas malas que están sucediendo. When you got the San Francisco government paying $300 a person to pay people not to shoot one another. Cuando el gobernador allá en, Calif en San Francisco eh, está entregando, está pagando $300 dólares para que las personas no se disparen el uno al otro. Where are we as a society? ¿Dónde hemos llegado como sociedad? So, why are we talking this about, about this on Yom Teruah? ¿Por qué estamos hablando de este tema en Yom Teruah? Because in verse 9 it says, when you go to war. En el versículo 9 se nos dice cuando vayas a la guerra. It says when, that means you're going to go to war. Dice cuando vayas, eso significa que irás a la guerra. But Jehovah 
is telling you he wants you to remember something. Pero Jehová te está diciendo que quiere que te acuerdes de algo. He wants you and your land to sound the shofar to him. Él quiere que tú y tu tierra toquen el shofar delante de él. Okay. So that you will be remembered. Para que tú de esa forma seas recordado. But before you go to war, you got to repent. Pero antes de irte a la guerra, tienes que arrepentirte. Now let's go to verse number 10. Vámonos al versículo 10. Also on your days of rejoicing, at your designated times of Rosh Kodesh, you are to sound the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings. These will be your reminder before you, before Elohim. I am Jehovah your Elohim. Amen. Amen. Uh, so let's ask uh, two men if they did this today. Vamos a hacer la pregunta dos caballeros a ver si ellos hicieron esto en este día. Rav Will, uh, did you do an offering today? A Rabino Will si levantó una ofrenda en este I, día. I saw a video. I think you did an offering. El rabino pudo ver un video y cree que sí, que sí lo hizo. On this day of rejoicing, did you sound the shofar over the offering? En este día de regocijo tocaste el shofar sobre esa ofrenda que hiciste. Uh, we are getting an affirmative to that question. Ahí se está afirmando la respuesta a esa pregunta. Rabbi Yehoshua, did you do an offering today? A Rabino Yehoshua se ofreció una ofrenda en este día. On this day of rejoicing of en, Yom Teruah, did you do that? En este día de regocijo en Yom Teruah, sí lo hizo. Okay. Did you sound the, the, the shofar over the offering? Tocaste el shofar sobre la ofrenda. Okay, so we had at least two people doing what is commanded in Scripture. Tenemos dos personas que hicieron lo que se nos ordena ahí en las Escrituras. Now, I want to remind everybody. Ahora el rabino le quiere hacer, eh, traer a la mente a todos. Because there might be, o people, acordarles. might be people watching us that say you can't do offering. Porque quizás algunos de los que nos están viendo dicen que no pueden levantar o ofrecer sacrificios, okay. ofrendas. Because you're not a priest. Porque no eres un cohen, no eres un sacerdote. Well, did Samson's parents offer an offering on an altar? Será que los padres de Sansón ofrendaron? Did a Gentile ever offer something to God? Será que un gentil alguna vez le ofrendó hizo un sacrificio para Jehová? Remember Job chapter one. Se acuerdan de Job uno? Job was a Gentile. Job era un gentil. Okay, he offered to God for his family, for his children. Él le ofreció al Señor sacrificio de para sus hijos. And this was before Torah was written. Eso fue antes de que la Torah fuese escrita. Okay, so you can do offering. Puedes hacer las ofrendas. Okay. So, verse number 10. Versículo 10. Also, on your days of rejoicing at your designated times on Rosh Kodesh, you are to sound the, the trumpets over the burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings. These will be your reminder before Elohim. I am Jehovah your Elohim. Amen? Amen. Didn't Jehovah also tell us in Leviticus 20, uh, chapter 23? ¿Acaso Jehovah también eh, no, no los dijo en, en Levítico 23? That you are to do the... the Days of rejoicing, no matter where you live. Que tienes que observar estos días de regocijo, no importando dónde vivas. Did Jehovah ever tell us to stop doing what we just read in verse 10? Será que Jehovah alguna vez nos dijo que dejáramos de hacer lo que se nos dice ahí en el versículo 10? Did he ever tell us to stop doing this? Será que él nos dijo alguna vez que deja, dejáramos de hacerlo? Because that's what a lot of people say. Well, we're not supposed to do this anymore. Eso es lo que dicen muchos. Bueno, no estamos supuestos a hacer eso. I'll agree with that if you can show me. What chapter and what verse it is in? El rabino estará de acuerdo contigo si tú le puedes indicar en qué capítulo y en qué versículo se encuentra eso. Because we're, just, we're to have these days of rejoicing, right? Tenemos que observar estos días de regocijo. Okay, so Passover is a day of rejoicing, right? Pesa que es un día de regocijo. Sukkot is a day of rejoicing, right? Sukkot es un día de regocijo. Hagmatz is a day of rejoicing, right? Hagmatz es un día, una fiesta de regocijo. Shavuot is a day of rejoicing, right? Shavuot también es una fiesta, un día de regocijo. Did Jehovah not know we would not be living in Israel for 2,000 years? ¿Será que no estaba al tanto, Jehovah, que estaríamos viviendo fuera de Israel por 2,000 años? Okay, so on the days of rejoicing, en los días de regocijo, especially today, you sound the trumpet, you sound the shofar. Especialmente el día de hoy se toca el shofar. Okay, let's read verse 10 again. Leamos el versículo 10 nuevamente. Also on your days of rejoicing at your designated times on Rosh Kodesh, you are to sound the trumpets over the burnt offerings and over the sacrifice of your peace offerings. These will be your reminder before Elohim, I am Jehovah your Elohim. Amen? Amen. Okay, so it, saw, it says something about a peace offering. Ahí se nos habla, se nos dice algo acerca de una ofrenda de paz. Okay, when 
You want to make peace with the Lord, you realize you made a mistake. Cuando quieras hacer las paces con el Señor, te, cuando reconozcas que cometiste un error. He's telling you that you can do this peace offer. Él te está diciendo que tú puedes hacer esta ofrenda de paz. Okay, so the shofar on Yom Teruah especially. El shofar especialmente en Yom Teruah. Is reminding you about all these wonderful things. Te está acordando a ti acerca de todas estas cosas maravillosas. It's not about the new year, it's about reminding you about God's law. No se trata del año nuevo, sino de recordarte de las leyes del Señor. Go back to Leviticus chapter 23. Vámonos de vuelta a Levítico 23. And look at verse 24. Vamos a leer el versículo 24. Anybody learning anything here today? Han aprendido algo. You're happy you got a day off? Están felices de haber librado, de haber tomado el día libre. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 24. Levítico 23, 24. Tell the people of Israel in the seventh month, the first of the month is to be for you a day of complete rest for remembering. A holy convocation announced with blasts on the shofar. Amen? Amen. And now we're, we're focusing on the word blast. Ahora nos estamos enfocando en la, en la palabra toque. I'm going to read it in... Uh, definition in English. Elizabeth's going to do it in Spanish. Amen. Blast is H8643. It's the word terua. It means alarm, single, sound of tempest, shout, shout or blast of war or alarm of joy. Number two, alarm of war, war cry, battle cry, blast or march. Three, Shout of joy with religious impulse. Español, please. Amén. Vamos a la definición de la palabra sonido en otras traducciones ráfaga. Primera definición significa alarma, señal, sonido de tempestad, grito, ráfaga o explosión de guerra o alarma o alegría. Segunda definición, alarma de guerra, grito de guerra, grito de batalla, explosión para marcha. Tercera definición, grito de alegría con impulso. Religioso. Now this is a very important definition. Esta es una definición muy importante. Because it's not Rosh Hashanah. Porque no se trata de Rosh Hashanah. It's Yom Teruah, day of sounding. Es Yom Teruah, el día que se celebra el son de trompetas. But as we looked at, we we'll look at the definitions again. Ahora como hemos observado las definiciones nuevamente. Teruah doesn't just mean sounding. Teruah no es solamente sonido. It's a day of an alarm. Es el día de una alarma. It's a day of a war cry. Es el día de un grito de guerra. It's a day of a battle cry. Es el día de un grito de batalla. It's a day of shouting for joy. Es un día de gritar de alegría. It's a day of Getting ready for war. Es un día de prepararse para la guerra. Okay, so this changes the day that we're, the, the understanding of the day that we're doing. Esto cambia el entendimiento del día que estamos observando. It's not about Rosh Hashanah, a beginning of a new year. No se trata de Rosh Hashanah, que sería principio de año. Although it is a day of great joy. Es un día de regocijo. But most of the definitions are about Alarms. Pero la mayor parte de las definiciones se encajan con alarma. Uh, blasts for war. Con grito de guerra. So this commanded festival. Este festival ordenado, esta fiesta. That we're to remember for Jehovah. Que debemos de recordar para Jehovah. Is calling you out of your spiritual sleep. Te está llamando de, de tu sueño espiritual. And God Te está is, despertando. And God is trying to wake you up. El Señor está tratando de despertarte. Now in definition number two it said war cry, battle cry. En la segunda definición se nos dice alarma de guerra, grito de guerra. This uh, word cry is very appropriate for today's festival. Esta palabra grito es muy apropiada para el festival de este día. The Hebrew phrase Yom Teruah la, eh, esta frase hebrea, Yom Teruah literally means literalmente significa a day of shouting cries. Un día de gritos. Okay, so the, today is a day of crying out to God. Hoy es el día de gritar, de clamar delante del Señor. Okay, you're crying out to God. Tú estás gritando, estás clamando okay. delante de él. It's not about casting your sins into the water. No se trata de echar tus pecados al agua. It's not about, you know, 
Painless to not tell God, have your name written in the book of life. No se trata de decirle a otro que tu nombre sea inscrito en el libro de la vida. The word teruah also has a little bit deeper understanding. La palabra teruah también tiene un entendimiento muy um, different understanding. Tiene un entendimiento diferente. Okay, the Hebrew word for teruah means a loud, shrill, like a horror movie scream. La palabra hebrea para terrua significa un grito de horror. Okay, you know, it's like ah! Es así como que estás horrorizado. You know, you see a monster. Let, let's go hide in the, in the barn where all the chainsaws are. <laughs> como esconderte, <laughs> como esconderte en una película de terror. You know, you got the guy coming at you. Bleep, 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 bleep. Con uh -huh. el hombre que se está acercando ahí para matarte. Okay, and you, you see the person in the movie. Ah! la persona en la, en la película lanza un grito de horror. So let's run away from the man with the mask on. Vámonos a, a correrle a ese hombre que tiene la máscara let's, puesta. Let's run into the barn that has all the chainsaws in it. <laughs> Vamos a escondernos allá donde están todas las trampas para matarme. Why don't you get in your car and drive away? Métete en tu carro y, ve, y vete, aléjate del lugar. But the word terua is like that that scream when you, you get real scared. La palabra terror es como ese grito de terror cuando te asustas bastante. So let's study the word terror. Vamos a estudiar la palabra terror. And why Satan doesn't want us to celebrate Yom Teruah. Y el por qué Satanás no quiere que observemos o celebremos Yom Teruah. Go back to Numbers chapter 10 verse 5 and 6. Vámonos a Números 10, 5 y 6. Numbers chapter 10, verse 5 and 6. Pumit bar 10, verse 5 and 6. Números 10, 5 y 6. When you sound an alarm, the camps to the east will commence traveling. When you sound a second alarm, the camps to the south will set out. They will sound alarms to announce when to travel. Amen? Okay. Amen. So hearing the sound of the shofar. Al escuchar este sonido del shofar. What it is supposed to do to our spirit. Lo que está esto supuesto a hacer en nuestro espíritu. Okay. It's supposed to stir your heart to want to do something different. Está supuesto a agitar tu corazón a tu corazón a que haga algo diferente. Because in 10 days. Porque en 10 días. It's the, the, the holy day of Yom Kippur. Viene el día santo de Yom Kippur. And you're supposed to enter in to a holy place with the Lord. Y tú estás supuesto a entrar al lugar santo con el Señor. So, uh, today if we could, the men are on Shabbat after Shabbat. We have to put the chuppah up in the sanctuary. Hoy si se puede o después de Shabbat tienen que colocar los hombres la chuppah aquí en el santuario. Ed is, Ed, is the chuppah still at your house? Is the chuppah at your house? Did you use the one from here for, for the wedding? Oh, you did? So the, the other one's still here. It should be here, okay. So, on Yom Kippur, you're supposed to enter into the holy place with the Lord. En Yom Kippur, tú estás supuesto a entrar al lugar más santo con el Señor. So, on Yom Teruah, it's supposed to stir your heart. Yom Teruah debe de agitar tu corazón. To try to get right with God. Para tratar de arreglar las cosas con el Señor. A lot, a lot of the time of introspection into your own life. Uh... Looking deep into your own heart. Muchas veces eh, escudriñar de tu corazón internamente. So this alarm is supposed to stir you to change you first. Esta alarma debe de moverte a ti, agitar tu espíritu para que tú cambies primero. Hearing the shofar. Al escuchar el shofar. It's supposed to stir your heart to move away from sin. Debe de eh, Mover tu corazón debe de agitarlo a que tú te alejes del pecado. And everybody has some sin that they got to get rid of. Nobody, anybody perfect here? Y todos tienen pecados de los cuales desa deshacerse. ¿O será que hay alguien perfecto aquí? Anybody perfect? ¿Será que hay alguien perfecto? Right, so everybody's got something that they got to bring before the Lord. Todos tienen algo que tienen que presentar o traer delante del Señor. You Yom Teruah is about getting ready for Yom Kippur. Yom Teruah se trata de prepararse para Yom Kippur. And teshuva, meaning return and repent. Y arrepentirse, hacer teshuva, que significa arrepentirse y regresar. Turn to Numbers chapter 31 now, Bamidbar Numbers 31. Vámonos a Números 31. Numbers 31. Números 31. Verse 1 through 9. Del 1 hasta el 9.
Numbers chapter 31, verse 1 through 9. Numbers 31, del 1 hasta el 9. Jehovah said to Moshe, On behalf of the people of Israel, take vengeance on Midian, the Midianite. After that, you will be gathered to your people. Moshe said to the people, Equip men from among yourselves for war. There go and fight Midian in order to carry out Jehovah's vengeance on Midian. You are to send to the war a thousand men from every one of Israel's tribes. So out of the thousand of people in Israel, a thousand armed men from each tribe, twelve thousand altogether were mustered for war. Moshe sent them, a thousand from each tribe, to the war. He sent them to Pincus, the son of Eleazar, the Kohen, to the war with the holy utensils and the trumpets for sounding the alarm in his care. They fought against Midian, as Jehovah had ordered Moshe, and killed every male. They killed the kings of Midian along with the others who were slain, Evi, Rechem, Zur, Hur, and Revka, uh, Reva. The five kings of Midian, they also killed Balaam, the son of Baor, with the sword. The people of Israel took captive the women from Midian and their, their little ones, and they took as booty all the cattle, flocks, and other goods. Amen? Amen. All right, so Teru is about you're going to have victory over your enemies. Serua se trata de que tú obtendrás la victoria sobre tus enemigos. Oh, you want to write that for your notes. Querrás escribir esto para tus notas. Yom Teruah is about having victory over your enemies. Yom Teruah se trata de que tendrás la victoria sobre tus enemigos. Everybody want victory over the enemy? Será que todos anhelan o desean esta victoria sobre sus enemigos. So Yom Teruah is about knowing that you're going to have victory if you're Following God. Yom Teruah se trata de saber que tendrás la victoria si sigues al Señor. Yom Teruah is also about. Yom Teruah también se trata. Listening to Jehovah. De escuchar a Jehovah. Listening to His word. De escuchar su palabra. And not sinning against His word. Y de no pecar en contra de su palabra. And then you will have victory. Entonces allí tendrás la victoria. Yom Teruah. Yom Teruah. Is about being obedient. Se trata de ser obediente. Especially when things are Good. Especialmente cuando las cosas van bien. A lot of times when things are going good, you're not as obedient. Muchas veces cuando las cosas van bien, tú no eres tan obediente. Because you're, you're not in pain, you're not suffering. Porque no estás con dolor, no estás sufriendo. So Teruah is about reminding you, you got to come back home. Teruah se trata de hacerte ese llamado a que regreses a casa. Yom Teruah, Yom Teruah is reminding you to Teshuvah before you get to Yom Kippur. Te está acordando de que te arrepientas antes de llegar a Yom Kippur. Look back at verse number 6. Leamos el versículo 6. Moshe sent them a thousand from each tribe to the war. He sent them and Pincus, the son of Eleazar, the Cohen, to the war. With the holy utensils and the trumpets were sounding the alarm in his care. Amen. Amen. All right, so they went to war. Ellos fueron a la guerra. And you're supposed to take the holy utensils into war. Y a la guerra estaba supuesto a llevar los utensilios, los instrumentos santos. Uh, you're supposed to take the holy utensils into war. Los utensilios santos de, eh, debían de ir también a la guerra. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta do it yourself. Tienes que hacerlo tú mismo. Okay, so you gotta know how to use it. Tienes que saber cómo usarlos. You gotta understand what purpose it is. Tienes que entender para qué propósito son. Look at verse number six again. Lean el versículo seis nuevamente. Moshe sent them a thousand from each tribe to the war. He sent them, and Pincus, the son of Eleazar, the Cohen, to the war, with the holy utensils and the trumpets for sounding the alarm in his care. Amen. Amen. So you have these, these all these people going to war. Tenemos todas estas personas que se están yendo a la guerra. 12,000 men. 12,000 hombres. Okay. Now, they could have all died, right? Todos ellos pudieron haber perdido sus vidas. They could have all died. Pudieron haber muerto. So, the shofar is about you coming before the Lord. El shofar se trata de que tú te presentes delante del so, Señor. So that you don't die. Para que no mueras. Look at verse number 2. Lean el versículo 2. On behalf of the people of Israel... Take vengeance on Midian, the Midianim. After that, you will be gathered to your people. Amen? Amen. Now, who are the Midianim? Ahora, ¿quiénes son lo, estas personas de Madian? These are Moshe's in-laws. Son, eh, son la familia política de Moisés. Okay, his wife was daughter of the priest of Midian. La esposa de él era la hija de un sacerdote de Midian. So you're going to get to take vengeance on your in-laws. 
Vas a poder vengarte de tus familiares políticos. <laughs> There is a God in heaven. <laughs> All right, now. Uh, so, he was going to take vengeance on Yitro. Remember, Yitro disrespected the Lord. Él tomaría venganza en Yitro. ¿Se acuerdan que Yitro le faltó respeto al Señor? Okay, Moses said, stay with us and we can serve God together. Moisés le pidió que se quedara con él para así poder servir a Jehová juntos. But Yitro decided to go back to his own people. Pero Yitro decidió regresar a su pueblo. He had the opportunity to choose to follow the God of all the universe. Él tuvo la oportunidad de escoger seguir al rey, al Dios del universo. So why are we talking about this on Yom Teruah? Porque estamos hablando de este tema en Yom Teruah. God is calling everybody back home. El Señor está llamando a todos de regreso de vuelta a casa. Before he goes to war with you, Antes de que Él vaya a la guerra en tu contra, he gives you terms for peace. Él te entrega o te otorga términos de paz. Every year he's calling all the Hebrew people back to his way. Todos los años Él está llamando a los hebreos a que regresen a su camino. And are they doing it? ¿Y será que lo están haciendo? Well, since they celebrated Yom Teruah, they celebrated Rosh Hashanah two days ago. Bueno, ellos celebraron Rosh Hashanah hace dos días. I don't think they're celebrating Yom Teruah. El rabino no piensa, no considera que ellos están observando la fiesta de Yom Teruah. I don't think they're returning back to the Torah. No están regresando a la Torah. So Yom Teruah is about calling you home to follow God's perfect order. Yom Teruah se trata de el llamado a que regreses a casa a seguir la, la, el orden perfecto del Señor. Yom Teruah is about coming back to being obedient. Yom Teruah se trata de regresar para ser obediente. Rosh Hashanah is about apples and honey and casting your sins into the water. Rosh Hashanah se trata de manzanas y miel y de echar tus pecados al agua. I thought God was the only one that could, could forgive your sins. Yo pensé que era el Señor el único que podía perdonar tus pecados. Okay, let's go to the next reference. Turn to Yehoshua, Joshua, chapter 6, verse 4 and 5. Vámonos ahora a Josué 6, del 4 hasta el 5. Yehoshua, Joshua, chapter 6, verse 4 and 5. Josué 6, del 4 hasta el 5. Joshua, Yehoshua, chapter 6, verse 4 and 5. Seven Kohanim are to carry seven shofars in front of the ark. On the seventh day, you are to march around the city seven times to get your exercise. And the Kohanim will blow the shofars. Then they are to blow a long blast on the shofar. On hearing the sound of the shofar, all the people are to shout as loudly as they can, and the wall of the city will fall down flat. Then the people are to go up into the city, each one straight from where... He stands, amen? Amen. So in the walls of Jericho, en los muros de Jericho, you had seven Kohanim carrying seven shofars. Tuvimos siete Kohanim que llevaban los siete shofars. How many shofars do we have here today? ¿Cuántos shofares tenemos aquí en este día? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see what this sounds like, guys. Why don't you all stand up for a minute? Tenemos aquí siete chofares a los caballeros que se paren por un momento. Pick out your weapon of mass destruction. Saquen su arma masiva. Why don't you men come up front? I don't need to do this long. We got eight? He's got his kazoo. Huh? Yeah, four, eight. You got a shofar? We got an extra shofar? Why don't we let the Austin? You send yours and see if you can. Alicia, Alicia, give that to Austin. You know how to blow one of those, Austin? Yeah. All right, on three. Let's let's see what the walls of, what it sounded like on the walls of Jericho. Vamos a ver cómo fue el sonido cuando derribaron los muros de Jericho. A tequila gedola, like loud, long blast. Tequila gedola, ese fue el que hicieron. One, two, 
Right. No, let's be real, man. One, two, three. Hoo! Hoo! Battle. Semper fun. I'm in. All right, man. All right, thank you, gentlemen. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing when the enemy, the Democrats, I mean, uh, I mean. Eso estaremos haciendo cuando se levante el enemigo, los demócratas. Imagine that sound. Imagínate, imagínate ese sonido. And you're in war. Que estés en la guerra. And you're, you're, you're going to protect your family. Y que tú protegerás a tu familia. And you're going to go to war with the adversary that's coming to you. Y te vas a ir a la guerra con el adversario que viene hacia ti. Because remember it said when you go to war in your land. Porque se nos dijo cuando vayas a la guerra y es en tu territorio, en tu tierra. So Jehovah said to sound the alarm. Y Jehovah dice que suenes la and alarma. Then, and then shout as loud as you can. Y que grites tan alto como puedas. Because Teruah is about a shout. Teruah se trata de un grito. A cry to the Lord. Un grito, un un clamor hacia el Señor. And when the, the, the Hebrew man sounded that at the walls of Jericho. Cuando los hombres hebreos hicieron este sonido en los muros de Jericho. The walls of the enemy came coming came tumbling down. Los muros del enemigo se derrumbaron. So Yom Teruah is about having your enemy's walls come tumbling down. Yom Teruah se trata de que los muros de tus enemigos se derriben. And we need that a lot today. Hoy en día necesitamos mucho eso. Because there's a lot of people against the word of God. Hay muchos que están en contra de la palabra del Señor. Yom Teruah. Yom Teruah. Is also about remembering our disobedience. Se trata de acordarnos de nuestra desobediencia. Okay, turn to the book of Ezra chapter 3. Vámonos a Esdras 3. Ezra chapter 3 verse 10 through 13. Esdras 3 del 10 hasta el 13. Ezra chapter 3 verse 10 through 13. Ezra 3 del 10 hasta el 13. Ezra chapter 3 verse 10 through 13. Everybody got it? Got Ezra? When the builders laid the foundation of the temple of Jehovah, the Kohanim in their robes with trumpets and the living in the sons of Asaph, with symbols took their places to praise Jehovah as David, the king of Israel, had instructed. They sang antiphonia, finally praising and giving thanks to Jehovah, for he is good, for his grace continues forever. Towards Israel, amen. Amen. All the people raised a great shout of praise to Jehovah because the foundation of the house of Jehovah had been laid. For many of the Kohanim, Lipim, and heads of the father's clans, the old men who had seen the first house standing on its foundation, wept out loud when they saw this house. While they shouted out loud for joy, that the people couldn't distinguish the noise of the joyful shouting from the noise of the people's weeping. For the people were shouting so loudly that the noise could be heard at a great distance. Amen? Amen. Let's go back to verse number 11. Vámonos al versículo 11. They sang and antiphonally, praising and giving thanks Jehovah, for he is good, for his grace continues forever toward Israel. All the people raised a great shout of praise to Jehovah because the foundation of the house of Jehovah had been laid. Amen. Amen. That word in, in verse 11, shout, Esa palabra en el versículo 11 de grito, is the word teruah. Es la palabra teruah. Now, why, why are they crying? Ahora, ¿por qué ellos están gritando? ¿Por qué están llorando? Because the first temple had been destroyed. Fue porque el primer templo fue destruido. And now the second temple had been rebuilt. Ahora, en esa ocasión, se construyó el segundo templo. Why was the first temple destroyed? ¿Y por qué fue destruido el primer templo? Because God left his house. Porque el Señor se marchó de su casa. Because you didn't want to follow his ways, so he left. Porque no quisieron seguir sus caminos, él se marchó. There is no evil too big to beat our God. No hay una maldad tan grande que pueda vencer a nuestro Dios. Okay. 
The only way that the temple can be destroyed de la única forma en que pudo haber sido destruido el templo is if God leaves it. Es, eh, fue cuando el Señor se marchó de él. So they, they raised up a great teruah. Ellos alzaron un gran terrua, un gran clamor, un gran grito. You know, people are crying because they're, they're sad. Las personas estaban llorando, estaban clamando porque estaban tristes. Because of all that time they lost away from God. Por todo ese tiempo que perdieron mientras estaban alejados del Señor. So Yom Teruah is reminding us. Yom Teruah nos está acordando a nosotros. About losing everything. El perderlo todo. The Hebrew people had to lose everything to come back home. El pueblo hebreo tuvo que perderlo todo para regresar a casa. And that's what a lot of the world is going through right now. Eso es por lo que está experimentando muchas personas en el mundo actualmente. They're losing a lot of things. Why do you have to lose things? Están perdiendo muchas pertenencias, pero ¿por qué tienen que perderlas? Because you're not serving God the way He wants you to serve. Es porque no estás sirviendo al Señor en la forma que él desea ser servido. Turn to Psalm 89. Vámonos al Salmo 89. Psalm 89, verse 14 and 15. Salmo 89, 14 y 15. I'm going to sit down, so change the camera, please. Psalm 89, verse 14 and 15. Psalm 89, 14 y 15. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Grace and truth attend you. How happy are the people who know the joyful shout. They walk in the light of your presence, Jehovah. Amen. Amen. So here, we, in verse 14, Aquí en el versículo 14, it talks about righteousness. Se nos habla de justicia. Every congregation, every church around the world should be celebrating Yom Teruah today. Toda congregación, toda iglesia alrededor del mundo debería de estar observando la fiesta de Yom Teruah en ese día. But the churches don't even celebrate any day of this. Pero las iglesias no celebran ninguno de estos días. So what is righteousness? ¿Qué es entonces? ¿Qué es la justicia? Righteousness is following the word of God. La justicia es seguir la palabra del Señor. Let's read verse 14 and 15 again. Leamos los versículos 14 y 15. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Grace and truth attend you. How happy are the people who know the joyful shout. They walk in the light of your presence, Jehovah. Amen. Amen. Okay, so righteousness and justice is the foundation of God's throne. La justicia, la rectitud son el cimiento del trono del Señor. And it, in verse 15 says, how happy are people who know the joyful shout. El versículo 15 nos dice o nos deja saber qué tan bienaventurados son las personas que conocen este grito. That word shout is teruah. Esa palabra ahí para grito es teruah. How happy are people that, who celebrate Yom Teruah. Bienaventurados o felices aquellos que observan la fiesta de Yom Teruah. In verse 14. En el versículo 14. It speaks about righteousness is the foundation of God's throne. Se nos habla de que la justicia es el fundamento, es el cimiento del trono del Señor. Righteousness should be the foundation of your life. La justicia debería de ser el cimiento de tu vida. Hold your place in Psalm 89. Mantén tu lugar en el Salmo 89. And turn to Matthew 5, verse 6. Y vámonos a Mateo 5, versículo 6. Hold your place in Psalm 89 and turn to Matthew 5, Matthew 5, verse 6. Mantén tu lugar en el Salmo 89 y vamos ahora a Mateo 5, versículo 6. Matthew 5, verse 6. How blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Amen? Amen. So, when you hunger and thirst for righteousness, cuando tú tienes hambre y sed de justicia, You will be filled with God's Spirit. Serás saciado con el Espíritu del Señor. When you, when you understand Yom Teruah, Cuando entiendes Yom Teruah, that, this, that you have in your, in your spirit a cry to God, que en tu espíritu tienes un grito hacia el Señor, that you're hungering for righteousness. Que tienes hambre de justicia. I know this year it was, it was very difficult for a lot of people. Este año fue un año muy difícil para muchas personas. You know, was it, was it Tuesday? 
You know, did Creo you do, do Sight the Moon on Sunday, Monday? Creo que fue el, el martes que empezaron a divisar la luna y lo, lo siguieron haciendo por varios días. You know, sometimes telling your boss, well, uh, uh, I'm gonna, I need another day off. Muchas veces el pedirle a tu jefe de que te dé otro día libre. Or, you know, your boss is going to get kind of aggravated with you. <laughs> tu jefe se va a enojar un poquito contigo. But if you took that extra day off, pero si tú tomaste ese día extra, si lo libraste. If you're hungering for righteousness. Si tienes hambre de justicia. If you're hungering for God's righteousness. Si tienes hambre de la justicia del Señor. That's what Yom Teruah is about. De, hungering for God's righteousness. De eso se trata Yom Teruah, de tener hambre por la justicia del Señor. Go back to Psalm 89. Vámonos al Salmo 89. Let's look at verse 14 and 15 again. Leamos los versículos 14 y 15 nuevamente. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Grace and truth attend you. How happy are the people who know the joyful teruah. Shout. They walk in the light of your presence, Jehovah. Amen. Amen. Yeshua said if you You'll be blessed if you hunger for righteousness. Yeshua dice que serás bendecido si tienes hambre de justicia. If you hunger for the holy days, Yom Teruah. Si tienes hambre de los días santos, say Yom Teruah. If you're not hungering for Rosh Hashanah. Si no tienes hambre de observar o de celebrar Rosh Hashanah. But you're hungering for what God wants for His day. Pero tienes hambre de lo que el Señor anhela para su día santo. If you thirst for his way, si tienes sed de su camino. You know, sometimes people walk away. A veces las personas se alejan, se and, marchan. And when you're out there, it gets kind of, it gets really dry. Y cuando estás allá afuera, las cosas se ponen muy secas, como que todo se pone muy árido. And a lot of people get into drinking or drugs or some other Some other thing they get into. Muchos se meten en lo que es el alcoholismo, las drogas y muchas otras cosas. And they're looking for happiness in all the wrong places. Están buscando la felicidad en los lugares menos indicados. Because what did verse 15 say? Porque qué nos dice el versículo 15? How happy are the people that know the joyful shout? Bienaventurado aquel que sabe aclamar al Señor. So you're being promised this joyful shout if you Celebrate Yom Teruah. Se te está prometiendo ese regocijo, ese clamor de regocijo si sigues la fiesta de Yom Teruah. If you hunger for what God wants to give you. Si tienes hambre de lo que el Señor quiere impartirte, de lo que Él quiere darte. All right, turn now to Matthew 24. Vámonos a Mateo 24. We're going to look at verse 30 and 31. Leeremos los versículos 30 y 31. In a twinkling of an eye. All the dead shall rise. Matthew 24, verse 30 and 31. Mateo 24, 30 y 31. All the dead shall rise. Israel shall see the Lord with blindness lifted from her eyes. Blindness lifted from her eyes in that day when the great shofar sounds. In that day. All right, Matthew 24, verse 30 and 31. Mateo 24, 30 y 31. Then the, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. All the tribes of the land will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with the tremendous power and glory. He will send out his angels with a great shofar, and they will gather together his chosen people from the four winds, From one end of heaven to the other. Amen. Amen. When is he coming back? Cuando es que él regresa. He's going to send out his angels with the great shofar. Él enviará sus ángeles con el gran shofar. How many holy days are we commanded to sound the shofar? En cuántos días santos se nos ordena el tocar el shofar? One. Uno. But nobody knows the hour of the day. Pero nadie sabe, sabe el día ni la hora. You're right. Nobody does know the hour of the day. Tienes razón, nadie conoce, nadie sabe el día ni la hora. Why? ¿Por qué? Because you gotta sight the moon. Es porque debes divisar la luna. Israel was celebrating Rosh Hashanah two days ago. Israel estuvo celebrando Rosh Hashanah hace dos días. But the moon wasn't sighted until last night. Pero la luna fue divisada, fue vista anoche. It was not seen in, in Jerusalem until last 
Night. No fue vista en Jerusalén sino hasta noche. But they were celebrating it two days ago. Pero ellos estuvieron celebrando hace dos días atrás. And they were having a very happy time. Estaban pasándola muy bien. I got lots of emails from my friends in the, in the land. El rabino recibió muchos correos electrónicos de amigos que tiene allá en la tierra de Israel. Deseándole un feliz año. I'll send it to you later today. Eh, más, a, más tarde el rabino los va a enviar a felicitar a Let's todos Let's look ellos. at verse 30 and 31 again. Leamos los versículos 30 y 31. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. All the tribes of the land will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with tremendous power and glory. He will send out his angels with a great shofar. And they will gather together his chosen people from the four winds, one end of heaven to the other. Amen. Amen. Doesn't say he's going to collect the church. No dice ahí que va a estar recogiendo la iglesia. He's going to gather together his chosen people. Va a reunir a sus escogidos. The people who choose to follow Yeshua. El pueblo que escogió el seguir a Yeshua. In spirit and in truth. En espíritu y en verdad. Many people don't realize, especially in the church, that he's still Jewish. Muchas gentes no se dan cuenta, incluso en las iglesias, que él aún sigue siendo judío. None of the church is celebrating Yom Teruah or even Rosh Hashanah. Ninguna de las iglesias están celebrando Yom Teruah ni siquiera Rosh Hashanah. Okay, and on uh, what was it Monday night? I looked on YouTube to see who was doing. Rosh Hashanah services. <laughs> El lunes por la noche, el rabino estuvo viendo en YouTube para ver quién está celebrando los servicios de Rosh Hashanah. You know what I found? ¿Sabes lo que se, con qué se encontró? There's a lot of women rabbis now. Hay muchas mujeres que son rabinas ahora mismo, rabinos. Wearing talits and kippahs on their heads. Tienen kippah, tienen talit también. Running Rosh Hashanah services. <laughs> Están dirigiendo sus servicios, señores, de Rosh Hashanah. I don't know what they do when they're having their period. El rabino no sabe cómo se las arreglan cuando tienen la menstruación. Now, they can't stand in the holy place when they're having their menstrual cycle. No pueden estar en un lugar consagrado cuando tienen su ciclo menstrual. And it was so sad to see these these women rabbis. Fue muy triste ver estas mujeres que son líderes. Oye, okay. why aren't the men standing up? ¿Por qué los hombres no se están parando firme? Why did they fi find the need to have a woman do it instead of a, a man like Aaron's son. ¿Por qué se ve la necesidad de colocar mujeres en poder cuando el Señor llamó a los hijos de Aarón? The Lord called Aaron and his sons. El Señor llamó a Aarón y a sus hijos. He, he called women to give birth to children. Él llamó a las damas para que diesen a luz a which, los niños. Which is really important because without our mothers, none of us are here. Que es muy importante porque sin nuestras madres, ninguno de nosotros estaríamos aquí. Man, man is a very small part of the birth process. El hombre es una parte muy pequeña de lo que es la concepción de un niño. For nine months, Ari carried all those children in her womb. Por And nueve meses, nuestra hermana Ari estuvo embarazada de todos esos niños que tiene. For all those months, Ivana carried all the children in her Ivana womb. Ivana también. Okay. It's a, it's a beautiful blessing for a woman. Es una, es una bendición muy bella para las damas. So verse 31 again. Versículo 31. He will send out his angels with the great shofar and they will gather together his chosen people from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Amen. Amen. The great shofar is sounded on Yom Teruah. El gran shofar que se toca en Yom Teruah. How many days are we commanded to sound the shofar in Torah? En, ¿Cuántos días nos indica la Torah que toquemos el shofar? There are specific things that we read when we sound the shofar. Hay cosas específicas que hemos leído en cuanto a cuándo se deben de tocar los shofares. But in Leviticus 23. Pero en Levítico 23. Where it lists all the holy days. Está la lista allí de todos los días santos. Only one holy day are we commanded to sound the shofar. Solo en uno de ellos se, se nos ordena tocar el shofar. Okay, so... We don't know the hour of the day. No sabemos el día ni la hora. Because you have to sight the moon. Es porque debes de divisar la luna. Turn to Revelation chapter 11. Vámonos a Apocalipsis 11. Verse 15 through 18. Del 15 hasta el 18. Revelation chapter 11. Apocalipsis 11. Verse 15 through 18. Del 15 hasta el 18. Revelation 11. Apocalipsis 11. Verse 15 through 18. Del 15 hasta el 18. 
The seventh angel sounded his shofar, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of the, of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and his Messiah, and he will rule forever and ever. Amen. The 24 elders sitting on, sitting on their thrones in God's presence fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We thank you, Jehovah, God of heaven's armies, the one who is and was, and that you have taken your, your power and have begun to rule. The goyim rage, but now your rage has come, and the time for the dead to be judged, the time for rewarding your servants, the prophets, and your holy people, those who stand in awe of your name, both small and great. It is also the time for destroying those who destroy the earth. Amen? Amen. Verse number 15 again, please. Versículo 15 nuevamente, por favor. The seventh angel sounded his shofar, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and his Messiah, and he will rule forever and ever. Amen? Amen. This is where you get the, the hallelujah chorus from. It's part of it. De ahí es donde sale la canción, el coro, hallelujah. And, you know, and he shall reign forever and ever. It's a beautiful the hallelujah chorus. Okay? Yes. So we see in, ver, in chapter 11 Podemos notar en el capítulo 11 that the angels are sounding the shofar. Que los ángeles están tocando el shofar. Because it said the seventh angel sounded his shofar. Porque dicen que los siete ángeles tocaron los shofares. Okay? I think it's going to be louder than that. Será más alto que ese que sonó. Let's have a nice loud one. One, two, three. Amen. Amen. So the seventh angel sounded the shofar. Los siete ángeles tocaron los shofares. But there, it doesn't say what, what day he sounded. Pero no dicen que cuál fue la fecha, que en qué día lo tocaron. It doesn't say what month he sounded. Ni en qué mes. Because we don't know. <laughs> All right. I, because we don't know the hour or the day when the moon will be sighted. Porque no sabemos el día ni la hora en que la luna será eh, divisada. Okay, we have the seven sounding. Tenemos estos siete sonidos. Seven is the number of perfection. Siete es el número de perfección. Seven is the number of completion. Siete es el número de eh, completo. So in verse 15, something is being Completed. En el versículo 15 algo se está completando. Let's look at verse 18. It's a very interesting verse. Leamos el versículo 18. Es uno muy interesante. The goyim rage, but now your rage has come. The time for the dead to be judged. The time for rewarding your servants of prophets and your holy people. Those who stand in awe of your name, both small and great. It is also the time for destroying those who destroy the earth. Amen. Amen. So, verse 18 is very interesting. El versículo 18 es muy interesante. It said the goyim rage. Dice que las naciones se airaron. And then Jehovah is going to judge the goyim. Y que Jehovah va a juzgar a los gentiles, a las naciones. Look at that verse again. Lean el versículo nuevamente. Verse 18. Versículo 18. The goyim rage, but now your rage has come. The time for the dead to be judged, the time for the rewarding your servants, the prophets, and your holy people, those who stand in all of your name, both small and great. It is also the time of for destroying those who destroy the earth. Amen. Amen. Jehovah's going to destroy the Goyim. Jehovah va a destruir a los gentiles. I thought we were under grace. Yo pensé que estábamos bajo la gracia. I thought the, the Goyim didn't have to follow the law. Yo pensé que los gentiles no tenían que seguir la ley. Evidently, that is a lie. Evidentemente eso es una mentira. Because verse 18 says the Lord is going to rage against the Goyim. El versículo 18 nos deja saber que el Señor se va a irar en contra de los gentiles. In verse 18 it said time for the dead to be judged. En el versículo 18 se nos indica que es el tiempo para que los muertos sean juzgados. The reference to that is Revelation 20 verse 12. La referencia a todo eso es Apocalipsis 20 versículo 12. What are you going to be judged on? ¿En qué se van a basar para juzgarte? You're going to be judged from the books. Te van a juzgar basándose en los libros. You're going to be judged on Torah's standard. 
te van a juzgar bajo las normas de la Torah. But those who follow God's word, aquellos que siguen la palabra del Señor, verse 18 says you're going to get a reward. El versículo 18 te está dejando saber que vas a recibir un galardón, una recompensa. So if you choose to teshuva, si tú escoges el arrepentirte, return and repent, regresar, arrepentirte, Yom Teruah is calling you to follow the instructions again. Yom Teruah te está haciendo el llamado para que sigas las instrucciones. Because God doesn't want to destroy you. He wants you to return. Porque el Señor no quiere destruir, Él quiere que te arrepientas. God has things against us. El Señor tiene cosas que están en nuestra contra. But he's willing to forgive. Pero él está dispuesto a perdonar. If you're willing to return. Si tú estás dispuesto a arrepentirte. He's not gonna, it doesn't say he's forcing you to return, he's calling. No está diciendo ahí que él te está obligando a que regreses, sino que te está llamando. The angels sound the shofar, it's calling people to come back. El ángel está tocando el shofar, él está haciendo el llamado a las personas a que se arrepientan. The trumpet gives you instructions to come back home. La trompeta te da la instrucción a que regreses a casa. Okay, it's your your decision to to come back home or not. La decisión es tuya de regresar a casa o no hacerlo. And in the book of Revelation, en Apocalipsis, prior to the other, prior to the seventh shofar, previo a los siete shofares, the, there were six other shofar sounding. Hubo otro sonido de otras seis trompetas. And the pla there were plagues un unleashed on the earth. Y hubo plagas que se desataron sobre la tierra. Okay, so God was calling you to remember. El Señor te está haciendo el llamado a que te acuerdes. In Revelation 9, verse 20 and 21. En Apocalipsis 9, 20 y 21. We were told in Revelation 9, verse 20 and 21. Se nos dijo en Apocalipsis 9, 20 y 21. That God sent a plague on them. Que el Señor envió plagas sobre ellos. And they refused to repent. Y ellos se negaron a arrepentirse. Okay. So God calls you. El Señor te llama. Yom Teruah is about reminding your spirit that he's calling you. Yom Teruah se trata de acordarle a tu espíritu de que él te está llamando. That he doesn't want to destroy you. Que él no quiere destruirte. But there's going to be seven blasts. Pero vendrán siete sonidos. Once the seventh blast happens, una vez que venga este séptimo sonido, he's going to take vengeance on the world. It said. Él se vengará en contra del mundo. Ahí se nos dice. Turn to First Kings chapter one. Vamos al primer libro de Reyes capítulo uno. First Kings chapter one. Primer libro de Reyes capítulo uno. First Kings chapter one. Primer libro de Reyes capítulo 1. We're going to look at verse 34. Leeremos el versículo 34. First Kings chapter 1 verse 34. Primer libro de Reyes 1 versículo 34. Another thing to understand about the shofar. Otra cosa para entender acerca del shofar. First Kings chapter 1 verse 34. There Zadok, the Cohen, and Natan, the prophet, are to anoint him king over Israel. Sound the shofar and say, Long live King Shlomo. Amen? Amen. So what is Yom Teruah about? ¿De qué se trata Yom Teruah? It's about the sounding of the shofar. Se trata del son del shofar, del sonido del shofar. That the king will come and take his place. Que el rey va a venir para tomar su lugar. When is Yeshua going to return? ¿Cuándo va a regresar Yeshua? When is the king going to come take his place? ¿Cuándo va a regresar el rey para tomar su lugar? After you sound the shofar. Después que toques el shofar. How many holy days are we commanded to sound the shofar? ¿En cuántos días santos se nos ordena tocar el shofar? Only one. Solo en uno. But nobody knows the hour of the day. You're Pero right. nadie sabe el día ni la hora. You got to sight the moon. Es verdad, tienes que divisar la luna. Look at verse 34 again. Lean el versículo 34. There's a duck and that there is that the duck. The Cohen and the Tan, the prophet are to anoint him king over Israel. Sound the shofar and say, "Long live King Shlomo." Amen. Amen. So Yom Teruah is about the kingship. Yom Teruah se trata del reinado. The blowing of the trum trumpet of the shofar. El sonido, el tocar el shofar, la trompeta. Was the sign in the Tanakh 
Fue una señal en el Tanakh. That the king would come and begin to take his rule. De que el rey vendría a tomar su lugar, su posesión. Okay, let's go on to the second lesson. Turn to Matthew 25. Vámonos ahora a Mateo 25. Matthew 25. Mateo 25. We're going to look at verse 1 through 6. Versículos 1 hasta el 6. This is about the bride and the bridegroom. Esto se trata de la novia y del novio. Matthew, Mateo 25, verse 1 through 6. Mateo 25, del 1 hasta el 6. The kingdom of heaven at that time will be like ten bridesmaids who took their lamps and went out to meet the groom. Five of them were foolish and five of them were sensible. The foolish ones took lamps with them, but no oil, whereas the others took flasks of oil with their lamps. Now the bridegroom was late, so they all went to sleep. It was the middle of the night, and the cry rang out. The bridegroom is here. Go out to meet him. Amen? Let's go back to verse number two. Amen. Vamos a leer el versículo dos. Five of them were foolish, and five of them were sensible. Amen? Amen. You have to ask yourself, are you the wise or the foolish? Tienes que hacerte la pregunta a ti mismo. ¿Eres tú el prudente o la insensata? Well, since you're here on Yom Teruah, I would con consider you to be wise. Bueno, como te encuentras aquí en Yom Teruah, el rabino te va a considerar prudente. But the rest of the world that's not celebrating this time. Pero el resto del mundo que no está observando, celebrando en esta época. Now, if you're a nurse or something where you got to work in a hospital, there are always sick people, so you got to be there. Ahora, si eres enfermera o eres parte de, de un equipo médico, te entendemos, tiene que estar allí porque hay pa pacientes que están enfermos. If you work in the fire department, the police department, you always got to have them on staff. Si trabajas en el departamento de bomberos o, no el, o en el de policía, siempre te van a estar llamando. Okay. Um, but if you drive a garbage truck. Pero si tú manejas, por ejemplo, un camión de basura. If you uh, work at a Burger King, si tú trabajas en Burger King, you might be working for the king, but it's not the king of the universe. <laughs> Quizás estés trabajando para el rey, pero ese no es el rey del universo. All right. So I would consider you to be foolish. El rabino te va a considerar un tonto, un insensato. Now look at the very interesting verse in number six. Lean un versículo muy interesante que es el número seis. Now before reading verse six. Antes de leer el versículo seis. This is Yeshua who's talking. Este es Yeshua quien está hablando. He's Jewish. Él es judío. He's talking to Jewish people. Él se está dirigiendo al pueblo que es judío. And they were not celebrating Christmas or Easter or e New Year's. Ellos no están celebrando el año nuevo, la cuaresma o la Navidad. They would understand the reference of what Yeshua was talking about. Ellos entenderían la referencia a los cual a la cual Yeshua los está llevando. Look at verse number six. Lean el versículo seis. It was the middle of the night when the cry rang out, the teruah rang out. The bridegroom was here. Go out to meet him. Amen. Amen. What have we been learning today on this holy day? ¿Qué hemos estado aprendiendo en este día santo? About the cry, the teruah. Hemos estado aprendiendo acerca del clamor del teruah. So Yeshua is telling you something. Y Yeshua te está diciendo algo. He's telling you that something might happen in the middle of the night. Y Yeshua te está diciendo que quizás algo ocurra a mitad de la noche, a and media noche. And of an eye, all the dead shall rise. Israel will see the Lord. With blindness lifted from her eyes in that day. When the great shofar sound. So, so the cry rang out in verse number six. El grito salió, salió en el versículo seis. The, cr the shofar precedes the bridegroom. El shofar es lo que viene antes de, de la novia. Before the king takes his place on the throne. Antes de que el rey tome su lugar en el, en el trono. First Kings told us that the shofar is sounded. Primer libro de Reyes uno nos dijo que primero se toca el shofar. Look at verse number six again. Lean el versículo seis nuevamente. It was the middle of the night when the cry rang out. The bridegroom is here. Go out to meet him. Amen. Amen. So the cry, the teruah rang out. El teruah, ese clamor fue lo que salió. And, it's, and then the, the person said, the bridegroom is here. Y la persona, el vocero, estaba ahí anunciando, viene el novio. What did we, what did Yeshua tell us in Matthew 24, verse 31? ¿Qué nos dijo Yeshua en Mateo 24, versículo 31? 
that the great shofar is going to sound. Que el gran va a sonar, then he's going to come and take his reign. Y él a tomar su reino. But he's telling you a little bit more about this in verse number six. Pero él te está dando más de todo eso en el But we, his bride, Pero nosotros, la novia, should wait eagerly for his return. Deberíamos de esperar ansiosamente su regreso. Everybody's waiting eagerly for when we're going to have service. Todos deberían de esperar ansiosamente cuando tendremos el servicio. Was the moon sighted? Se vio la luna. Was the moon sighted? ¿Será que se divisó uh, la luna? I said, no, not for, no, not today. No, hoy no se ha visto. And the next day, was the moon sighted? Y al otro día la misma was pregunta. Was the moon sighted? Se vio la luna. I said, no, it wasn't no, sighted. No, todavía no. But, no, I said, yes, say. The moon was sighted. El rabino sí lo dijo, eh, Mucha alegría que la luna fue vista. The, cr the cry rang out, or at least the text went out. <laughs> Salieron los textos. I sent lots of text messages out. El rabino envió muchos textos. So the bride is waiting eagerly for the return of the bridegroom. La novia está esperando ansiosamente el regreso del novio. Look at verse 6 again. Lean el versículo 6. Matthew 25, verse 6. Mateo 25, versículo 6. It was the middle of the night when the cry rang out. The bridegroom is here. Go out to meet him. Amen. Amen. In the middle, in the middle of the night. A medianoche. The mind of the bride has to be on on the bridegroom. La mente de la novia tiene que estar enfocada en el novio. The bridegroom can come at any time. Que el novio podía hacer su entrada, podía llegar en cualquier momento. Even in the middle of the night. Aún a medianoche. You know, we have a reference of the middle of the night, right? Tenemos una referencia de la medianoche. Remember. In the book of Exodus, Shemot. Se acuerdan en Éxodo. When did the Lord kill the Egyptians? Cuando fue que el Señor mató los primogénitos de los egipcios? Midnight, in the middle of the night. A medianoche. That's why it's called midnight. Por eso se llama medianoche. Could Yeshua be saying something to us a little bit here in English? Será que Yeshua está hablando algo aquí? In the middle of the night. Dice ahí a medianoche. So the bridegroom can come at any time. El novio, el esposo puede regresar en cualquier momento. Yom Teruah is about hearing the cry of the shofar. Yom Teruah se trata de escuchar el sonido, el grito del shofar. Turn to Deuteronomy, Devarim 6. Vámonos a Deuteronomio 6. Deuteronomy 6, verse 4 and 5. Deuteronomio 6, del 4 hasta el 5. Devarim, Deuteronomy 6, verse 4 and 5. Deuteronomio 6, del 4 hasta el 5. Deuteronomy 6, verse 4 and 5. Everybody should know this. Shema Yisrael Yehovah Eloheinu Yehovah Echad And you are to love Yehovah your Elohim with all your heart, with all your being, with all your resources. May I have to add on the Isle of Hecha, and you are to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your resources. Amen? Amen. Shema, listen. Shema, escucha. Listen for the sound of the shofar. Escucha el sonido del shofar. Yom Teruah is calling you back to God's house. Yom Teruah te está llamando de vuelta a la casa del Señor. Shema, have a personal relationship with God. God. Shema, ten una relación en, cercana uh -huh. con el Señor. Shema Israel. Shema Israel. It means an active listening. Significa estar escuchando activamente. You have to choose to do that. Tú tienes que escoger el, el hacerlo. You have to want to do that. Tienes que querer, tienes que anhelar el hacerlo. Shema meaning to have a personal relationship with heaven. Shema significa tener una relación personal con el cielo. Because you're supposed to be a light to the nation. Porque tú estás supuesto a hacer luz a las naciones. You're supposed to bring the truth to the nation. Estás supuesto a traer la verdad a las naciones. Yom Teruah is about knowing the truth. Yom Teruah se trata de conocer la verdad. Following the truth. De seguirla. God is calling you back to following His way. El Señor te está llamando para que siga sus caminos. Look at verse 4 and 5 again. Lean los versículos 4 y 5. Shema Yisrael, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Khan. Hear Israel, Jehovah our Elohim, Jehovah is one. And you are to love Jehovah your Elohim with all your heart, 
with all your being, with all your resources. Amen. Amen. You are to love. Tú debes de amar. It's your job to do. Es tu función, es lo que tú tienes que hacer. On Yom Teruah, it's about reminding you about your job. Y Yom Teruah se trata de acordarte del papel que debes de desempeñar. It's, you can't be half-hearted with God. No puedes entregarle medio corazón al Señor. Yom Teruah is about getting a left to heart, a clean heart. Y Yom Teruah se trata de obtener o de tener un corazón puro. Because you got Yom Kippur coming. Porque Yom Kippur se acerca. Now this year it's not going to be that hard because God moved the moon. Este año no será tan difícil porque el Señor movió la luna. Okay, we're going to have a Shabbat Shabbaton in 10 days. Tendremos un Shabbat Shabbaton en 10 días. Because Yom Kippur falls Friday evening into Saturday evening. Yom Kippur, la fecha será, eh, el día eh, será de viernes en la noche hasta sábado en la so noche. So you don't have to take an extra day off from work. <laughs> no tienes que tomar otro día libre. But I highly recommend eating a big meal before you start your fast. El rabino les recomienda que coman bien antes de empezar el ayuno. Okay, because during this time you're trying to clean out your heart porque en ese a través de esta época tú estás tratando de limpiar tu corazón your, Yom Teruah is about calling you to make things right between you and your brothers and sisters Yom Teruah se trata del llamado para que arregles las cosas entre tú y tu hermano o hermana in verse 5 it talked about loving God with all your soul el versículo 5 nos está hablando de amar al Señor con toda tu alma. Nafshika, your soul. Con tu alma. Meaning everything that's in you want to love God with. Eso significa que con todo tu ser eh, amas al Señor. Yom Teruah reminds us. Yom Teruah nos acuerda. That with everything in you. Que con todo tu ser. You have to choose to follow God. Tienes que escoger el seguir al Señor. Yom Teruah reminds you that you can come back home. Yom Teruah te acuerda de que tú puedes regresar a casa. That the doors are not going to be closed for you. Que las puertas no se te van a cerrar. Yom Teruah reminds us. Yom Teruah nos recuerda. That you have to choose to come back to God's house. Que tú eres el que tienes que escoger el regresar a la casa del Señor. And your Yom Teruah is to remind you. Yom Teruah es para acordarte. That in 10 days is your wedding day to God. De que en diez días es tu boda con el Señor. In ten days. En diez días. It's the wedding day of the Lamb of God. Es la boda del Cordero del Señor. Okay. You get to enter into that most holy place with the Lord God Almighty. Tú vas a tener acceso al lugar más santo con el Señor Dios Todopoderoso. But Yom Teruah reminds you that your wedding's not that far away. Yom Teruah te está acordando de que falta poco para tu boda. That you're supposed to be a Jewish bride. Que tú estás supuesta a ser una novia judía. Getting ready for your Jewish bridegroom to come back. Que se está preparando, alistando para el regreso de su novio, de su esposo judío. Let's look at verse 4 and 5 again. Leamos el versículo 4 y 5 nuevamente. Shema Yisrael, Yehovah Elohim, Yehovah Echad. Hear Yisrael, Yehovah Elohim, Yehovah is one. And you are to love Yehovah your Elohim with all your heart, with all your being, with all your resources. Amen? Amen. I'm going to read the definition of the word Shema to, so you can understand what it really means. El Rabino leerá la definición de la palabra Shema para que tú entiendas mejor lo que significa. I'm going to read it in English and Elizabeth's going to do it in Spanish. Shema is H8085, the word Shema. To hear... Listen to, obey. Number two, to hear with intent, att hear with attention or interest. Listen to. Number three, to understand, meaning understand the language. Number four, to hear of judicial cases. Number five, to listen, give heed. Number six, to consent, agree. Number seven, <clears throat> yield to, obey, be obedient. Espanol. Amén. La definición para la palabra Shema significa, primera definición, oír, escuchar, obedecer. Verbo. Segunda definición, escuchar con atención o interés, escuchar. Tercera definición, comprender como lenguaje. Cuarta definición, escuchar de casos judiciales. Quinta definición, escuchar, prestar atención. Sexta definición, consentir, estar de acuerdo. Séptima definición, ceder, obedecer, ser obediente. Okay, let's take a look at some of these definitions. Veamos algunas de estas definiciones. Definition number one. La primera definición. To hear, listen to, obey. Let's just do this first part. Vamos a la definición número uno. Okay, Yom Teruah is about 
Yom Teruah is about hearing. Yom Teruah se trata de escuchar. Listening to. De prestar atención. Obeying God's commandments. De obedecer los mandamientos del Señor. Because you got 10 days till Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur comes. Porque te faltan 10 días antes de que venga Yom Kippur. And you got to get ready for your wedding day. Y tienes que prepararte, ataviarte para tu día de boda. You're supposed to be the Jewish bride. Tú estás supuesta a ser la novia judía. You're supposed to be one of those smart bridesmaids. Deberías de ser una de esas, eh, de esas vírgenes, de esas novias sensatas. Let's look at definition number two. Veamos la segunda definición. To hear with attention or interest. De escuchar con atención o interés. Yom Teruah is about hearing the shofar with interest. Yom Teruah se trata de escuchar el shofar con interés. Remember in the beginning we, we went over in Numbers chapter 10 what the shofar is used for? Si acuerdan que al, cuando empezamos el mensaje repasamos para qué se usan eh, los cuatro sonidos del shofar. So you have to hear with interest what's my instruction. Tienes que escuchar con interés cuál es tu instrucción. What do I got to bring back to my family? ¿Qué tengo que llevarle a mi familia? I'm a head of a household. I'm a head of a clan. What do I have to do? Soy cabeza de familia o de un clan. ¿Qué es lo que debo de hacer? Definition number five. Quinta de To listen, give heed, meaning yield to. Escuchar, ceder. Yom Teruah is about listening for the commandments of God. Yom Teruah se trata de escuchar para recibir los mandamientos del Señor. Yom Teruah is about giving heed to God, meaning yielding to His will. Yom Teruah se trata de ceder ante la voluntad del Señor. Well, I don't know when the day is. Bueno, yo no sé, no sé cuándo será la fecha. What am I going to tell my boss? ¿Qué le voy a decir a mi jefe? I need the day off. Necesito el día libre. That's what you're going to tell your boss. Así de simple, señor. Ronnie, you got to tell your boss. <laughs> Tienen <laughs> que decirle a sus jefes. <laughs> All right. You got to give heed to God. You got to you got to yield to God's will for your life. Tienes que prestarle atención al Señor, ceder ante la palabra del Señor en tu vida. Definition number six. Sexta definición. To consent or agree to. Consentir, estar de acuerdo. On Yom Teruah. En Yom Teruah. What you're doing is you're consenting to give God rule over your life. Lo que estás haciendo es dando el permiso para que la regla del Señor eh, cubra tu vida. It's, To give rule over your life. Para que eh, el Señor eh, rija tu vida. It's not about Rosh Hashanah. No se trata, señores, de Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah Tova. Have your book, have your name inscribed in the book of life. O de que tu nombre sea inscrito en el libro de la vida. Have some apples and honey. Come manzanas y miel. It's about consenting to the commandments of God. Se trata de ceder ante los mandamientos del Señor. Yom Teruah is about 10 days. Now, your, your sins... Got to be wiped away. Y on Torah se trata que de que dentro de de diez días tus pecados serán limpiados. Definition number seven. Sex, séptima definición. Yield to, to obey, be obedient. Ceder, obedecer, ser obediente. Yom Teruah is about yielding to God. Yom Teruah se trata de ceder ante el Señor. Shema is about yielding to God. Shema se trata de ceder ante Dios. Okay, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Con todo tu corazón, con toda tu mente, con toda tu alma. Not with half your mind. No con la mitad de tu mente. Because if, if Yeshua is your husband. Si Yeshua es tu esposo. And you're not doing what He's told you to do. Y tú no estás haciendo la voluntad de él. You know, can you be sort of married? Será que tú puedes estar como casado? Frank, do you, do you, Francisco, do you think you could be sort of married to Ariana? Se le está preguntando al hermano si se puede esa situación de ser como si estuvieran casados. <laughs> no. You're a truck driver. You drive all over the place. Can't you have a gumad in every town or city? You know. A one in each state, you know, maybe a Puerto Rican here, a Mexican there, Irish one there. <laughs> Go on. You can't be sort of married. Esto no es como de pretender estar casado, then señores. Why, then why are you sort of married to God? ¿Por qué pretendes entonces estar como casado con el Señor? Why isn't the church celebrating this day? ¿Por qué la iglesia no está observando este día? Isn't that like spiritual adultery? ¿Acaso no es eso adulterio espiritual? I don't want to be them on when Yeshua sounds that seventh shofar. El rabino no querrá ser ellos cuando Yeshua toque ese, ese haga que se toque ese séptimo shofar. He's coming to judge the earth. 
Él vendrá para juzgar la tierra. And remember Matthew uh, 7. ¿Se acuerdan de Mateo 7? Where Yeshua says, I don't know you. Get donde away. Yeshua dijo, yo no te conozco. Get away from me, you worker of lawlessness. Aléjate de mí, hacedor de iniquidad. But we healed in your name. Pero sanamos en tu nombre. We preached in your name. Predicamos en tu nombre. And Yeshua, Yeshua says, I don't know you. Y Yeshua les dijo, yo no los conozco. Turn to Genesis chapter 3, verse 8. Vámonos a Génesis 3, versículo 8. Genesis 3 verse 8. Genesis 3 8. Because we got to hear the word of God. Porque tenemos que escuchar la palabra del Señor. Jehovah said, "Hear Israel, I'm with you." Escucha Israel, yo estoy contigo. Verse 8, Genesis chapter 3 verse 8. Genesis 3 8. They heard the voice of Jehovah Elohim walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. So the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Jehovah Elohim among the trees in the garden. Amen. Amen. This was really stupid. Todo esto fue eh, una tontería. Fue muy estúpido. You know, hide. <laughs> Se escondieron. I, I can't wait to hear the rest of the conversation. You know, what was going? What, what did Adam and Chava do? ¿Qué fue lo que hicieron Adón y Jabba? El rabino quisiera escuchar el resto de la conversación they de ellos dos. They looked at each other. Hi. <laughs> se vieron ellos y se saludaron de pronto. Oh, okay. it's not there in scripture, but I can't wait to hear the conversation. El rabino quiere escuchar la grabación de las conversaciones de esos dos individuos. All right, look at verse 8 again. Lean el versículo 8. They heard Shema, the voice of Jehovah Elohim, walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. So the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Jehovah Elohim among the trees in the garden. Amen. Amen. Teruah, Yom Teruah is about Yom Teruah se trata understanding you broke the rules. De la entender de que tú rompiste las reglas. Once again, is there anybody perfect in this sanctuary? Una vez más, ¿será que habrá alguien perfecto aquí en el santuario? Nobody's perfect. Nadie es perfecto. So you broke the rules. Rompiste las reglas. Yom Teruah is about understanding you can't y on Teruah se trata de que tú reconozcas de que no te puedes esconder. Adam and Chava like hide. Adam y Chava se dijeron vamos a esconder. Hide among the trees. Vamos a escondernos detrás de los árboles. I hear you breathing. El Señor dijo te escucho tu aliento tu respirar. I can hear your heart beating. Puedo escuchar el latido de tu corazón. You can't play hide and seek with God. No se puede, señores, jugar a las escondidas con el Señor. Can see through everything. Él puede ver a través de todas las cosas. So that's what Yom Teruah is all about. De eso se trata Yom Teruah. God can see through everything in your life. El Señor puede ver a través de todas las cosas en tu vida. But you know what? He is so merciful. Pero sabes que él, él es tan compasivo. So loving. Tan amoroso. So caring. Se preocupa that tanto. every year he has these ridiculous holy days to call us back. Que todos los años él trae estos días santos para llamarnos de vuelta. They're not ridiculous, but we make them ridiculous. Esos días santos no son ridículos, pero somos nosotros los que hacemos de ellos algo ridículo. Because we don't respect them. Porque no los respetamos. But he is so merciful. Pero él es tan compasivo, misericordioso. He's trying to get you to come back before it's too late. Él está tratando de que tú regreses antes de que sea demasiado tarde. Jehovah keeps promises, but Ye we don't. Jehovah guarda su palabra, guarda sus promesas, pero nosotros no. But he's always willing to keep his side of the bargain. Pero él siempre está dispuesto a hacer lo que le toca a él, hacer su parte. Yom Teruah is about hearing the shofar. Yom Teruah se trata de escuchar el shofar. Shema is about hearing the voice of God. Shema se trata de escuchar la voz del Señor. Teshuvah is about you returning and you repenting to God. Teshuvah se trata de que tú regreses, de que te arrepientas delante del Señor. Because in 10 days, Porque en diez días, you are going to have a wedding day Your Messiah. Vas a tener tu día de bodas con el Mesías. And how many people want to be at the wedding feast of the Lamb? ¿Cuántos quieren estar en la fiesta de bodas del Cordero? Well, if you don't celebrate Yom Teruah, you don't know when Yom Kippur is. Si no celebras Yom Teruah, entonces no vas a saber cuándo es Yom Kippur. And if you don't know when Yom Kippur is, y si no sabes cuándo es Yom Kippur, you're going to be like those five idiot bridesmaids that didn't have their oil. 
Será como esas vírgenes tontas que ni siquiera tenían aceite. And you're going to be banging on the door. Let me in, let me in. And the, what did the guy say? Pase I don't know you. dando golpes en la puerta. Déjeme entrar, déjame entrar. ¿Y qué le dijeron? Bueno, no las conozco. You heard the cry of the bridegroom, but you didn't come. Escucharon el clamor, viene el esposo, pero no, eh, no, no vinieron. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Déjeme entrar. I got my apples and honey. Tengo mi manzana y también mi miel. La chonatoma. La chonatoma. ¿Qué? Él le va a responder en español, señores. ¿Qué? Listen up to Ma. Ma? What? Let's turn to Bereshit, Genesis chapter 22. Vámonos a Génesis 22. Verse 16 through 18. Del 16 hasta el 18. Yom Teruah is about listening. Yom Teruah se trata de escuchar. About hearing the cry of the shofar. De escuchar el sonido, este grito del shofar. Genesis Bereshit 22, verse 16 through 18. Genesis 22, del 16 hasta el 18. He said, I have sworn by myself, says Jehovah, that because you have done this, because you haven't withheld your son, your only son, I will most certainly bless you, and I will most certainly increase your descendants to as many as there are stars in the sky or grains of sand on the seashore. Your descendants will possess the cities of their enemies. And by your descendants, all the nations of the earth will be blessed because you obeyed my order. Amen. The word obey there is Shema. Amen. La palabra ahí para obedecer es la palabra Shema. Abraham had to obey the word of God. Abra Abraham tuvo que obedecer la palabra del Señor. He didn't withhold Yitzhak, his son, from the Lord. Él no retuvo a Isaac, su hijo del Señor, no se lo negó. He heard the voice of the Lord and he did what he was told to do. Él escuchó la voz del Señor y él hizo lo que el Señor le pidió. Yom Teruah is about persevering. Yom Teruah se trata de perseverar. When the, the rest of the world is not Following God's ordained day. Cuando el resto del mundo no está siguiendo los días ordenados por el Señor. I want to be like the rest of the Jews. Yo quiero ser como el resto de los judíos. It's hard enough being a messianic Jew. Now I'm not doing Rosh Hashanah. Es muy difícil el ser mesiánico. Ahora no puedo ni siquiera observar Rosh Hashanah. And now we're not doing it on the same days as the Jews. It's terrible. Ni estamos celebrando en la misma fecha que los judíos. Esto es terrible. Why does God have to make it so hard? ¿Por qué el Señor tiene que hacer las cosas tan difíciles? Put yourself in Abraham's uh, sandals. Ponte en los zapatos de Abraham. I want your only son. Quiero a tu hijo, a tu único hijo. I want you to give him as an offering. Quiero que lo entregues como sacrificio, como ofrenda. He listened to God. Él escuchó al Señor. He heard the teruah, the cry of God. Escuchó el teruah, el grito de parte del Señor. And he yielded to God's commandment. Y él se dio ante el mandamiento del Señor. And he was blessed with descendants. Y fue bendecido con descendencia. And we are his descendants. Y nosotros somos sus descendientes. I'm a descendant of Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. El rabino es descendiente de Abraham, Yitzhak, y Yaakov. You got to persevere. Tienes que perseverar. Hearing and obeying Jehovah. El escuchar, el obedecer a Jehovah. He has mercy for you if you turn and obey his commandments. Él será compasivo contigo si tú te arrepientes y obedeces sus mandamientos. Yom Teruah is about getting ready for Yom Kippur and making things right. Yom Teruah se trata de prepararte para Yom Kippur y hacer las cosas bien, arreglar las cosas. But you got to make things right. Pero tienes que arreglar las cosas. And if you don't want to make things right with people that you may have had problems with during the year. Y si no quieres arreglar las cosas con personas que quizás tuviste problema o dificultad eh, a través del año. Let's see what Yeshua says about that. Vamos a ver lo que lo que tiene que decir Yeshua acerca de eso. Turn to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, Matthew 5. Vámonos a Mateo 5. Verse 23 and 24. 23 y 24. Matthew 5 verse 23 and 24. Mateo 5 del 23 hasta el 24. Matthew 5, verse 23 and 24. Mateo 5, del 23 hasta el 24. Anybody learn anything so far? Han aprendido algo hasta ahora. After this lesson, we're going to have a real good meal inside the Jericho building. Después de esta lección, celebraremos con buena comida. I know my wife went this great, this great. I'm going to have some of that. Matthew 5, verse 23 and 24. So if you are offering your gift at the temple altar and you remember there 
that your brother has something against you. Leave your gift where it is by the altar and go make peace with your brother. Then come back and offer your gift. Amen. Amen. Yeshua is talking about Yom Kippur. Yeshua está refiriéndose a Yom Kippur. Remember, he's talking to Jews. He's a Jew talking to Jews. Acuérdate, él está hablando a los judíos. Él es un judío hablándole a judíos. Okay, so he's telling you before you can enter into Yom Kippur. Él te está diciendo antes de que entres a Yom Kippur. Remember, you did something wrong. Acuérdate que tú cometiste un error. At minimum, you did something wrong to the kingdom of God. Por lo mínimo, le hiciste daño al reino del Señor. So Yom Teruah is about getting right with first God. Yom Teruah se trata de primero que todo arreglar las cosas con el Señor. Because in ten days, he's going to remove all the sins of Israel and the world. Porque en diez días, él va a remover el pecado de todo Israel y del mundo. But Yeshua tells us in these two verses. Y Yeshua nos dice en estos dos versículos. That if you remember that you did something wrong que si tú te acuerdas de que cometiste un error, que hiciste algo malo. Leave your gift at the altar and then go make it right with the person that you did wrong to. Que dejes tu ofrenda en el altar y luego vayas y arregles las cosas con aquel que tú heriste, le hiciste algún daño. He says, try to make peace. Él dijo, trata de hacer las paces. Well, what if, the, what if he doesn't want to listen to me? Pero qué tal si la otra persona no quiere escucharme? No, don't go over there and accuse him. Bueno, no vayas allí a acusarlo a él. Focus on yourself. Enfócate en ti mismo. You, what you did, I, I did this wrong. Lo que tú hiciste, el error que tú cometiste. Don't point fingers. No señales a los demás. Say, I may, I said something bad about you. Tú le tendrás que decir, bueno, yo hablé mal de ti. Try to make peace with your brother or sister. Trata de hacer las paces con tu hermano o hermana. And if they don't want to accept it, that's on them. Si ellos no quieren aceptar, bueno, eso es problema de ellos. Because Yeshua said in these two verses in 23 and 24. Y Yeshua dice en estos dos versículos el 23 y el 24. Leave your gift. Que dejes tu ofrenda. Go do what you, you, you have to do. Que vayas y hagas lo que tienes que hacer. You're responsible for what you do. Tú eres responsable de lo que tú haces. Then return and Bring your, alt, your gift to the altar. Y que regreses y lleves eh, tu ofrenda al altar. And you are the gift to God, especially on Yom Kippur. Y tú eres la ofrenda para el Señor, especialmente en el día de Yom Kippur. You offer yourself to God as a, as a living sacrifice. Te ofreces tú mismo al Señor como un sacrificio vivo. Yom Teruah is about repenting and returning. Yom Teruah se trata de arrepentirse, de regresar. Rosh Hashanah is not about any of this. Rosh Hashanah no se trata de nada de esto. We are the bride of Yeshua the Messiah. Somos la novia de Yeshua el Mesías. You have obligations and responsibility to Yeshua himself. Tienes obligaciones y responsabilidades con Yeshua. What responsibilities did Yeshua say we have? ¿Qué responsabilidades dijo Yeshua que nosotros teníamos? Pick up your cross and follow Him. La de tomar nuestra cruz y seguirlo a él. Yom Teruah is about each person's responsibility. Yom Teruah se trata de la responsabilidad de cada individuo. Let's go on to lesson number three. Vamos a la tercera lección. Can you take about another 15, 20 minutes more? 15 o 20 minutos más. Okay. This is about teshuva for your blessing. Esto se trata de arrepentirte para recibir tu bendición. Turn to Deuteronomy, Devarim, chapter 30, verse 1 through 14. Vámonos a Deuteronomio 30, del 1 hasta el 14. Deuteronomy, Devarim, 30, verse 1 through 14. Deuteronomio 30, del 1 hasta el 14. Deuteronomy 30, verse 1 through 14. Deuteronomio 30, del 1 hasta el 14. When the time arrives that all these things have come upon you, both the blessing and the curse, which I have presented to you, and you are there among the nations to which Jehovah your Elohim is serving you, then, at last, you will start thinking about what has happened to you. And you will return to Jehovah your Elohim and pay attention to what he has said, which will be exactly what I'm ordering you to do today. You and your children, with all your heart and with all your being, At that point, Jehovah your Elohim will reverse your exile and show you mercy. He will return and gather you from all the peoples which Jehovah your Elohim scattered you. If one of yours was scattered to the far end of the sky, Jehovah your Elohim will gather you even from there. He will go there and get you. Jehovah your Elohim will bring you back into the land your ancestors possessed, and you will possess it. He will make you, you prosper there, and you will become even more numerous than your ancestors. 
And Jehovah your Elohim will circumcise your hearts and the hearts of your children. So that you will love Jehovah your Elohim with all your heart and with all your being, with all, thus you will live. Jehovah your Elohim will put all these curses on your enemies and though, on those who hate you, hated and persecuted you. But you will return and pay attention to what Jehovah says and will and obey all his mitzvot, which I'm giving you today. Then Jehovah your Elohim will give you more than enough of everything you set out to do. The fruit of your body, the fruit of your livestock, the fruit of your land, will all do well. For Jehovah will once again rejoice to see you do well, just as he rejoiced in your ancestors. However, all this will happen only if you pay attention to what Jehovah your Elohim says. That you obey his mitzvot and regulations which are written in this book of the Torah, if you turn to Jehovah, your Elohim, with all your heart, with all your being, for this mitzvah which I'm giving you today is not too hard for you. It is not beyond your reach. It isn't in the sky, so you need to ask, who will go up into the sky for us and bring it to us and make us hear it so that we can obey it? Likewise, it isn't beyond the sea, so that you need to ask, who will cross the sea for us and bring it to us and make us hear it so that we can obey it? On the contrary, the word is very close to you, in your mouth, even in your heart. Therefore, you can do it. Amen? Amen. Let's look at verse 1 and 2 again. Leamos los versículos 1 y 2 nuevamente. When the time arrives and all these things have come upon you, both the blessing and the curse which I have presented to you, and you are there among the nations which Jehovah your Elohim has driven you, then... At last, you will start thinking about what has happened to you. And you will return to Jehovah your Elohim and pay attention to what he has said, which will be exactly what I'm ordering you to do today, you and your children, with all your heart and with all your being. Amen? Amen. And he said, at last. Él dijo cuando, eh, al final. This is why we have the holy days each year. Por eso es que tenemos los días santos todos los años. On Yom Teruah, he's calling you home to have you hear God's word. He wants you to be with, with you and all your children. But look at verse 6 and 7. Then Jehovah your Elohim will circumcise your hearts and the hearts of your children. So that you will love Jehovah your Elohim with all your heart, with all your being. Thus you will live. Jehovah your Elohim will put all these curses on your enemies and those who hated and persecuted you, verse number 8, but you will return and pay attention to what Jehovah says, obey all his mitzvot, which I'm giving you today. Amen? Amen. Yom Teru is about allowing your heart to be circumcised. Yom Teru se trata de permitir que tu corazón sea circuncidado. Let the sound of the shofar pierce your heart. Que permitas que el sonido de chofar atraviese tu corazón. Yom Teruah is about learning how to love with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your being. Yom Teruah se trata de aprender a amar con todo tu corazón, con toda tu mente, con todo tu ser. If you allow the, to re, yourself to return. Si tú permites que tu ser, que tu persona regrese ver, o se arrepienta. Verse number six promises you that you will live. El versículo seis te está prometiendo que vivirás. But we have to return and pay attention not to the Talmud. Pero tenemos que regresar y prestarle atención y no al Talmud. Not to the writings of the rabbis, but to the writing of God. No a los escritos de los rabinos, sino a los escritos del Señor. Yom Teruah is about returning to the writings of God. Yom Teruah se trata de regresar a los escritos del Señor. Rosh Hashanah is about returning to the writings of the rabbis in Sanhedrin 38b. Rosh, Rosh Hashanah se trata de regresar a los escritos de los rabinos en Sanhedrin 38b en el eh, Sanhedrin eh, 38 ok return to Shuba brings blessings to everybody regresar el arrepentir se le trae bendiciones a todos but you gotta pay attention you gotta hear the sound of the shofar pero tienes que prestar atención tienes que escuchar el sonido del shofar if you listen and Hear the sound of the shofar. Si tú oyes y escuchas el sonido del shofar. And it pierces your soul. Y atraviesa tu alma. Then you return. Entonces ahí te arrepientes o regresas. Now if you don't listen, you get 
Get your apples and honeys out, hun, apple and honey out, and eat them all you want. Ahora si no escuchas, entonces vas a tener tu manzana y tu miel y te puedes comer cuanto quieras. The shofar also brings up painful memories. El shofar también nos trae memorias o recuerdos dolorosos. Remember in Ezra we read that the the older men were crying. Se acuerdan que en Ezra leímos de que los ancianos estaban llorando. Why were they crying? ¿Por qué estaban llorando? Because they remember the first temple being destroyed. Porque se acordaron de la destrucción del primer templo. So the shofar reminds you of painful memories. El shofar te recuerda en pensamientos dolorosos. When you don't follow God. Cuando no sigues al Señor. Let's look at verse number 11. Veamos el versículo 11. For the mitzvah which I'm giving you today is not too hard for you. It is not beyond your reach. Amen. Amen. So God's saying, you know, the church always says. La iglesia siempre dice. They always contradict God. Siempre contradicen al Señor. They always say, you can't follow the law, it's too hard. Siempre se dicen, bueno, la ley no se puede seguir, es muy difícil. You can't do all those laws, nobody can do all those laws. No puedes observar todas esas leyes, nadie de hecho las puede observar. God has a problem with those people. El Señor tiene un problema con esas because personas. Because in, in verse number 11, he says, it's not too hard. Hard. Porque en el versículo 11 le está diciendo que no es tan difícil. Well, you can't do all those laws. No puedes hacer todas esas leyes. Did you at least try to? Por lo menos trataste de observarlas. If you try and fail, do you think your father in heaven is really going to get that angry? Si trataste y las cosas salieron mal, ¿tú crees que el Padre Celestial se va a enojar contigo? If you're trying with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, si lo estás intentando con todo tu corazón, con toda tu mente, con todo tu ser, do you really think the Father in heaven wants to destroy you? ¿Tú crees realmente que el Padre Celestial te quiere destruir? Do you think he's up there in heaven going, yeah, they're not going to be able to do it, yeah? ¿Tú crees que él está allí esperando a que tú fracases? <laughs> they can't do the law. Así riéndose como el no, oh, you can't do it, Austin. You'll never be able to do it. <laughs> no, the Lord is saying you can do it. Hear my shofar. No, el Señor te está diciendo lo puedes hacer. Escucha mi shofar. I'm calling you each year to come back to the right path. Te estoy haciendo el llamado todos los años a que regreses al camino correcto. We make it hard because we don't desire truth. Somos nosotros que hacemos las cosas imposibles porque no deseamos la verdad. What did Yeshua say in Matthew 5? ¿Qué dijo Yeshua en Mateo 5? If you hunger and thirst for righteousness, si tienes hambre y sed de justicia, you will get what you want. Serás saciado. Jehovah says we can do it. Jehovah dice que podemos hacerlo. Everybody else says you can't. Todos los demás dicen que no, que no puedes. Go back to Leviticus chapter 23, verse 24. Vámonos de vuelta a Levítico 23, versículo 24. This is our last scripture that we're looking at. Es la última escritura que estaremos observando. Leviticus 23, verse 24. Levítico 23, versículo 24. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 24. Vayaco 23, verse 24. This is the last scripture, so let the children know. Tell the people of Israel, in the seventh month, the first of the month is to be for you a day of complete rest, for remembrance, a holy convocation announced with the blasts on the shofar. Amen? Amen. Remembering the difference between Yom Teruah and Rosh Hashanah is very important. Acuérdense que la diferencia entre Yom Teruah y Rosh Hashanah es muy importante. Yom Teruah is about remembering God's commandments. Yom Teruah se trata de acordarse de los mandamientos del Señor. Yom Teruah is about making a choice to walk with Jehovah. Yom Teruah se trata de tomar la decisión de caminar con Jehovah. Yom Teruah is about picking up your cross and following Messiah Yeshua. Yom Teruah se trata de tomar tu cruz y seguir al Mesías Yeshua. Yom Teruah is about not going back to pagan ways. Yom Teruah se trata de no regresar a los caminos eh, paganos. Yom Teruah is remembering we have been set free from the ways of man. Yom Teruah nos acuerda que hemos sido liberados de los caminos de los hombres. Yom Teruah is about hearing. Yom Teruah se trata de escuchar. Turning. De eh, arrepentirse. And walking in truth. Y de caminar en verdad. Yom Teruah is about making things right between you and others. Yom Teruah se trata de arreglar las cosas entre tú y los demás. But most of all, Pero más que todo, Yom Teruah is about making things right between you 
and Jehovah Elohim. Y Yom Teruah se trata de arreglar las cosas entre tu persona y Jehová Elohim. Yom Teruah, Yom Teruah is about getting ready se trata de prepararse for the instructions that will follow the sound of the shofar. Para las instrucciones que vienen después del sonido del shofar. Follow the great cry of the great shofar. De seguir el gran clamor, el gran grito del gran shofar. And I say amen, amen. and amen. Amen. When, the, when we all grab our shofars again. A los el, caballeros que tomen sus shofars. And let's have the men come up. We're going to make the four sounding. <laughs> que los hombres se acerquen. Ahí van a ser los cuatro sonidos del shofar. Grab your weapon of mass destruction, gentlemen. A los hombres que lleven su arma de destrucción mas, masiva. Hmm? Grab your shofar. Los shofares. All right, the first sound we're going to make, everybody, El primer sonido que harán is tequila. Es tequila. It's a pure, unbroken sound. It's not a real loud sound. It's a softer sound. Es un sonido suave e interrumpido. Okay, so let's do tequila, a pure, unbroken sound. One, tequila. two, three. <laughs> The next sounding we're going to make is shivering. El it's, siguiente sonido que se hará es shivering. It's a staccato. It's a da, 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 Es en estocado. It's like a machine gun. Da, 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 da. All right, on three. <laughs> shivering. One, two, three. <laughs> Third sounding is teruah. We're going to make a wave-like sound. Ooh. El tercer sonido es teruah, que es en ondas. All right. Teruah. Last sound is Tequila Gedola. El último es Tequila Gedola. I want to make Yeshua Lara's hair come off his head. <laughs> so it's loud and long, loud and long. So take a deep breath and make it loud and long. One, two, three. <laughs> Blessed are you, Jehovah Eloheinu, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with the commandments, who has instructed us to hear the shofar. Blessed are you, Jehovah Eloheinu, King of the universe, who has kept us alive, sustained us, and brought us to this season. Amen. Amen. Let's just receive God's. Let's uh, pray. For, let's pray, and then we'll receive the ironic benediction. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings today. Gracias, Señor, por la bendición de este día. If you're out there today, si estás allá afuera en este día, and the shofar has touched your soul, y el shofar ha tocado tu alma, and you don't know where you're going to live a thousand years from y now, y no sabes dónde estarás dentro de mil años, let me introduce the Messiah Yeshua to you. Te presentaré el mes al Mesías Yeshua. He is the Messiah. Él es el Mesías. And he came to set you free from your sin. Y vino para libertarte de tus pecados. So if you're out there today si estás allá afuera en este día, and you want to give your life to Messiah Yeshua, y quieres entregarle tu vida al Mesías, Yeshua 
You say, how do you do this? Te dirías, ¿cómo, cómo podré hacerlo? I'm going to lead you in a short, simple prayer. El rabino te guiará en una oración simple y corta. You need, you need to say these words, but mean them in your heart. Debes de decir estas palabras, pero de todo corazón. If you're out there today, si estás allá afuera en este you día, to give your life to Messiah, y quieres entregarle tu vida al Mesías, say these words and mean them in your heart. Y estas palabras de todo corazón. Say, Yeshua today, dile Yeshua en este día, I heard the shofar, he escuchado el shofar, and it pierced my soul. Y atravesó mi alma. I want to accept you as my Messiah. Quiero aceptarte como mi Mesías. So first I ask for your forgiveness. Primero te pido perdón. I ask you to wash me. Te pido que me laves. Clean me. Que me limpies. Make me something new. Que me hagas de nuevo. If you've said that for the very first time, si dijiste esto por primera vez, then you are born again. Has nacido de nuevo. But Yeshua said this. Pero Yeshua dijo esto. That if you don't profess him before man, que si no lo profesas delante de los hombres, he cannot, will not profess you before his father and his angels. Él no te podrá profesar delante de su padre y sus ángeles. So if you accepted Yeshua for the very first time, si aceptaste a Yeshua por primera vez, and you're in a sanctuary, just slip up your hands so we can pray with you. Y te encuentras en el santuario, levanta tu mano y oraremos contigo. If you're hearing this on radio, television, or Internet. Si estás escuchando esto en radio, televisión o internet, yes, let us know so we can pray with you. Déjanos saber y oraremos contigo. In your name, Yeshua. En tu nombre, Yeshua. Everybody said, Amen. Todos digan, Amen. Let's receive the ironic benediction on this Yom Teruah. Let's receive God's name imprinted upon our souls. Yibarakaka <speaking in Hebrew> Yehovah. Burish Marie ha Ya Yehova Panabole ka viku ne ka Isa Yehova Panabole ka biasem la ka Shalom May Yehova bless you and keep you. May Yehova make his face shine on you and show you his favor. May Yehova lift up his face toward you and give you his shalom. Yehova te bendiga. Y te guarde, haga resplandecer, Jehovah, su rostro sobre ti y haya de ti misericordia. Jehovah, I'll say ti su rostro y ponga en ti shalom. In the name of the Sar Shalom, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord HaOlam, the light of the world, and everybody said, Amen. Shalom, this is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to the Remnants Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, BethGoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, BethGoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. Shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. 
BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture. Truly, the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close this Shabbat together with a reading of the new week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, Many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, YESHUA. Shalom.